Christian Bale, yeah. Christian Bradley Bale. Cooper. No, that's remember Batman. Bradley Cooper, the crazy, like, curly it's hair? Batman. Yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah, that's Christian, Christian Bale. Batman. That is, well, he's other things, too. He's also, in, he's in The is Savages. It you know, the, literally says in it, I'm Batman. He's Batman, he's Batman like, that's I, the line. I, I feel he like every, every other uh, <laughs> character is his alter egos. Oh. But mm-hmm. Christian Bale is Batman, I believe. Right, yeah. Uh, Canonically not, speaking. Not Dick Cheney. No. No, he's Batman. No, no, no. no. Oh, that's right, he's Dick Cheney. Yeah. <laughs> he's Dick Cheney? Yeah, he like fattened himself up. Oh, he, Dick yeah, he, he blew I've up. I've those, those pictures. Numbers. Christian Bale is Dick Cheney. Oh, hang on, let me, let me find you the photo. He looks for great. Dick, while you look that up, hey, welcome to Off Topic. I'm going to look over there anyway. Hey, welcome to Off Topic, episode number 113, probably. I think that's right. I am your host, Michael Jones. Joining us this week, we've got Jeremy. We've got Jack and Ryan, and then uh, Gavin, who said he was going to be on, and then this morning was like, I'm not coming in today. So that's weird. Here's Ryan yeah. seeing Christian Bale. Yeah. Today we are sponsored by Me Undies and Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> and then I'll, have, I'll read an ad from them later and then give you an opportunity to go buy some of those products, uh, most likely at a discounted price, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm being quite honest here. Uh, we're early today. Yeah, yeah we're early. This he, is, uh, uh, Ryan's still fascinated by this Christian yeah, Bale. Just, big big old Christian Bale. He manages to big not more, look like big more male. Dick Cheney or Christian Bale. Mm. So that's, Well, I think uh, these are, it looks like I think, early well, days. Well, what happens yeah, is, early Dick Cheney. here's what'll happen. He'll, once the makeup's complete, the when wardrobe's he on, human. he'll be looking good, then he'll shoot someone yeah, in the face. Yeah, this is pre-shotgun. Look shotgun. just like him. It all come together. Yeah, yeah once like, once you see is. the smoke bellowing back yeah. from the guy he shot in the face. Why is oh, that Dick Cheney? There's Dick Cheney. <laughs> oh, all right. He literally he just takes rolls right the ba- bounces weight. Yes, back and forth. yes. He's, he's a like freak. all right. I just did a big one. Now give me a skinny one. Yeah, he he yeah, likes I mean, to ma- test himself. The machinist was between Batman's. <laughs> yeah. Like he was he was Batman Begins, then went down and then both Dude, up like Hollywood Dark Knight. Stop offering him these things. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> going to no, kill. they clearly, know he'll do it. He's clearly gonna he's, do it. I know, but clearly he's got a problem. It's like offering d- d- drugs to a drug addict. It's like, like you want some crack? Of course I want crack. Like, you want to be we're, we're, we're doing a live yeah, action yes. of James the Giant Peach. You're playing the peach. Right. <laughs> and he's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> He just rolls into I'm a in. McDonald's and stays there for a month. Yeah. God damn. Well, didn't Mac, uh, um, uh, Rob McElhaney say that he ate a bunch of like chicken? That's how he got himself fat when he was. Yeah, like uh, he ate certain things to get himself yeah, fat. It wasn't yeah. just like he went all cheesecake. Uh, yeah, over. there's yeah. certain things you can eat that you can then burn off pretty quickly. So, yeah. but he put on he like. He pulled it off. Like 60, it was, it was like, over 50 pounds. Over 50 pounds. In between, in between seasons. And then he lost it immediately. He I mean, like, he didn't just lose it, he turned it into muscle, dude. Yeah. He got, yeah. He got a little uh, cut up for that. Christian Look at Bale, this. no. Christian Bale, what the fuck? There's man. Christian Bale. Stay if you're in watching. the middle for your own sake. So Christian that, that looks Bale. like in the middle is machinist. Good for that's you. machinist. Well, and yeah, the middle is a bit thin. Uh, it's a bit Batman, dirty, he was like American Psycho, and then uh, American. Uh, picking American from Hustle. the options given. Right. Yeah. Like, don't be on the left or the right. Every right. One of those, those are the worst choices. <laughs> one not a one of them had zero body fat, and the second one still had zero body fat, but lots of muscle. At least there was some muscle. He could have used the sandwich. The other two. Yeah. Second one. Little his gut was a little. I would love seeing seeing someone with like six pack abs like that, and you're just like, you could use a sandwich. You could use a sandwich, <laughs> just, just, just a little bit. You know, I want to see Christian Bale with that callus bod. Yeah. And Step the, number one, dude, get callus tiny. bod. You have callus bod, you're set for life. I'm trying to think of like, you're set for like when you die. Trying to think attack. of a human that I can think of that has callus bod. What the hell like, is callus? Callus bod is uh, Jeremy's ultimate uh, fitness Form. goal. <laughs> Uh, Callus from fucking Destiny, Destiny 2. The fat guy, the, the fit, Jabba dude? The fat fuck with the giant arms. Ever since Destiny, as you guys haven't been listening to Jeremy, oh, yeah. he's That's been like, Callus look bod. at that fucking Callus bod. I just want to get that Callus bod. Because <laughs> he's big and fat, so you know he eats everything he wants, but his arms are like he's that. He's just like he's a just fat like, shit with oh, huge swole. guns. He's yeah. huge. I that. talked to my trainer about how Jeremy <laughs> strives for a Callus bod, and she's <laughs> almost just kind of like, I mean, you can do better than that. I'm like, no, he wants it. Trust right. me. No, see, he but I can't. It. I don't want to aim for callus spot yet. Like, I, I gotta, I gotta work on. You gotta end there. Well, the you gotta end is, on callus. You, you, you just do like chin ups, you know, but just keep eating and just gets like adds more weight to it, so it gets your arms bigger it's as true. you get fatter. As you do chin ups, you have a sandwich at the top. There you go. Also, I have to assume that time. underneath the callus spot, underneath the roundness, there is muscle under there. Too, oh, right? it's, you'll break your hand on his gut. Yeah. Exactly. It's one of those like you don't it's have like, a six pack, but it's like there's callus. It's a that's not a good picture. It's a terrible picture. Yeah. But that's a good picture to highlight his uh, his lifestyle. His, yeah, his, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's went, why I envy it. That's how he got the layers of. There's a great uh, statue of him. Man. That's what I was talking about it during the rain. There's a I statue. Remember, of him. you were you're like, whoa, look, look wow. at this guy. I mean, the statue probably took some artistic license. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, true. 
He didn't earn those. That's not gym bicep. That's artist bicep. Well, that's I, I'm sure. This, I'm sure David wasn't as cut as they made him. Yeah, in the it's statue. true. It's true. And hopefully his dick was bigger. Well, yeah. Who we knows? don't know. I'm sure Goliath was really laughing. We don't. We don't, we don't know. <laughs> So apparently, uh, broadcast is a Deadpool for Achievement Hunter right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, who's winning? Uh, Jeremy is well in the lead. Jeremy has <laughs> Jeremy has three votes. Uh, Ryan, you've got one, and uh, me, Gavin, and Michael do not have any votes. There well, you go. Gavin's not here. So <laughs> yeah. Gavin, like, who voted for me? Vote. Wait a minute. Uh, I think. Uh, I mean, sta- like Jake, stab, Jake, Jake, stab and Christian. Me. I'll be fine. Cody got a vote for Ryan, so uh, definitely. Yeah. I like that so, I'm the first on the list. <laughs> it's like, who's the most? Okay, but uh, Jack and then And Mike. you are the one with the most enmity for this table. So, yeah, so enemity. what we're referring to is uh, we're, we're going to break the table today, allegedly. Yeah. Maybe. Allegedly. We'll see. Um, well, we're going to get hammered first, and then. Absolutely. No, I don't like I don't stumble wanna, outside. I honestly don't want to remember it. I want it to be like a crime where they're like, you killed this table. And I'm There's like, bl- I, I, didn't, I don't you remember blackout. nothing. Get blackout drunk. If you don't remember it, it doesn't count. Exactly. I got an alibi because it's on tape. Yeah. <laughs> you can Speaking see the point where. My soul leaves my body, yeah, and then I'm yeah. no longer uh, accountable. Like right here, I'm actually floating above the table. So, speaking of a crime, yeah. uh, they found uh, human remains outside of Cat's work yesterday. Yay! Oh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't right, like a lot, She sent she like sent me a, a photo. She's like, so this is happening, and it was a crime scene oh, investigation meant, unit outside of her building. Of human remains. No, there's no, no. a photo of someone's body. No, girl. she's not Logan. Whatever, Logan Paul. What's his oh, name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we don't speak that name. They you so I call him Paul Logan all the time. Okay, like, it's two right. first names together. Let's call him Fuckstick McGee. Yeah, yeah got him. Yeah. All right, well now exactly. you've said his name three times. That's so, true. But oh, yeah, shit. so like Cat sent me that picture and she's like, uh, "This probably isn't good." I was like, "So what was all that right, like? Well, how yeah, exactly said, like, we they, talking? They, I, I don't have detail. I think she sent me an, an article on it, but I just like I didn't go too far into you it. Didn't, you didn't someone, your wife in any way. Like, what happened? Fuck, they found it somewhere. Like the body dump has been. What I mean was it like dumped body or like buried body? I think it was buried body discovered. Some dog was like, "Hey, there's something over here." I think it was the beginning of Criminal Minds type thing. Like a foot sticking out of the Dude, ground with a dog. You got it. You got to dig them graves. The person Eat. who saw it, they went, "What the hell?" And then it cut to the intro. Oh shit! Nice. Yeah, you gotta go. Did you gotta go at least like dramatic. four yeah! feet. <laughs> four feet. Otherwise, the animals are just gonna find them. They're <laughs> yeah. just gonna pull them up. Yep. They'll, they they're like body sniffers. You can't be di- you can't body be buried snippers. bodies, God man. Damn. If you had a body, you'd have to like melt it, Breaking Bad style. Yeah, you know, sure, like, or incinerate it, or whatever. It's sure, it's but that's bones. but that's you, you need to. Be it's got to be hot. You gotta you gotta like have an in to incinerate. Oh, it, yeah. Right, High like classes go. Uh, I don't know. I'm, maybe my only thought maybe they removed them all in an effort for us to not drink. But they left or, all, the all kinds of other glasses. Or they just I mean the dishes just weren't done. That's where they were yeah, done and just not restocked on the It's simply one or the other, you know. Or right? spots. Who, who, how could we know? I, how could we ever know? It's impossible. Well, I, I found one though, so that's all. Yeah, same. Jeremy, I got you a glass. We're gonna make a really good Thanks, King. Doesn't have to be that big. Christ. I would, I would do a normal pint glass. There you no go, left. Jeremy. I know they didn't want you to drink too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like here. <laughs> We're I told them I'll hang out in the background until someone else invites me up with a weapon. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Do we have a what, what kind of selection? Do we have? Do we, we should, were we supposed to bring our own? No, no. Mar- Marcus no, apparently it was, has it a selection. It wasn't. Like, it, yeah. it wasn't BYOW. It was pretty much <laughs> expressly stated. Don't Jack Patillo. Well, it's going into a mess. Oh, okay. I'm not doing it. Not doing <laughs> a like, shot. Jesus. Calm down. That will be my my drink until we destroy the table. Dude, I mean, I mean, you take it outside and shoot it. You know, I mean, do we have guns? Did someone bring guns? We could just shoot it. Get an old yeller at the table. Yeah, just shoot it to pieces. <laughs> Take it out back and put it Watch down. Watch out. Good run, table. <laughs> Paul, don't make me do it. Every Paul. time we bring someone into our office and they see the mess of weapons the that are in there, we live in. Yeah, always, we- I don't even care about the weapons. It's the trash. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't care about the, tr- the trash. I'm saying when yeah. they come in, and they <laughs> see the, shit. when they see the weapons, they're always like, "Man, how many people have gotten hurt in this other one?" Almost not really, none. Like, none. Like, I mean, yeah. not, at least not on camera during a stunt. So, to be fair, like, at, not from weapons. At Rooster yeah. Teeth, John Mace has taken more damage than anyone else in this company. Well, sure. I mean, mentally. Well, yeah. that's not true. No. Not more than anyone. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, speak, speak of the devil. There I, he is. I want to say, too, <laughs> like, right maybe, maybe not, like, even, and it definitely wasn't, like, at the company, but person who got fucked up the most while working here, Caleb. 
Every time the guy walked in, oh, he's got like a broken yeah. arm. That's true, but it wasn't oh, broken. Yeah, that was, but it wasn't broken. Right. No, I'm not saying it's not, not a work work. I'm just saying the guy. That's because Glasgow like, and Denicor is like, strip over like, frisbees. I'm broken. <laughs> you keep yeah. chasing frisbees yeah. off cliffs, you're going to break some bones. I'm just like, I've never seen someone in a cast so much as Caleb. And then, I mean, health wise, then you got oh, Matt Bragg. All kinds of dust. Right. And I mean, talk, if you want to talk about injuries yeah. and achievement hunter, the number one thing I can think of, the number one thing, what fucks someone up the most in achievement hunter? Jeremy. Out of all the shit in our room. Out of all the shit in our room, what fucks people up the like, most? What has, the, the fucking uh, room yep. play wheel. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> the, that's the death trap. I've seen Jeff get the cut twice hole, on that. Yeah. I've seen Jeremy slice open on that. Like, I won't touch that thing. Yeah, yeah the yeah. roulette play wheel is by far the most dangerous. That thing is the most Because dangerous people get really thing. into what the next game is going to be, so they shove their hand in, but we've gone, at, we've gone at it with all golf clubs and metal. shit. All so it's all dented and jagged metal inside. In that, like reaching <laughs> into that thing to pull out a ball like for a roulette saw play trap. is like a saw <laughs> trap sticking your hand in the glass. That's like it's a tetanus. Like, ah! That's just the tetanus bucket. It's it really in, is. grab some tetanus, pull it, it out. I'm like, all right. Yeah, that's the most this company has I'm no get idea. Jaw and we're playing Rainbow Six. Also, we take that thing out. There should be Rainbow Six. There's a lot of glass in that room. There's yeah. so much glass. Like, I feel bad because I think they're gonna start taking apart some of our shit like while we're out and and you warn them like you warn Adam Baird and you're like, there is. Glass and it was Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just so you know, there is. Well, that was a combination of Ryan and Jeremy. Dude. I mean, I, I mean, we no, no, but I mean, no, I, didn't know. I, I mean, caused it. Ryan's comment to um, uh, Tech as we're talking about yeah. re, um, like reshaping the desks in our room and they'll be rewiring and stuff like that. And, uh, and by reshaping, we mean they're moving them over two feet. Whatever. Right. Yeah. Listen, things are being moved, and I'm not doing it. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so Ryan was so explaining to uh, to Tech about that, and then in the middle of that goes. Also, there is a 100% chance that there's glass down there. Like, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Every and time I go down, I found down. a piece Adam while I was looking around like, down there. Well, his plan, uh, as he tells it now, is he's not even going to bother with any of the cables that are there. They're going to unplug everything, take the computers out, and just drag the tangled I mean, hey, that's there. fine. And probably burn it. Maybe that's, after that's an exorcism. Fine. To be safe, yeah, it's, it's probably a good idea is to burn it. As long as that's, it's, you make sure it's dead. done and don't I don't do it, that's yeah. fine. I'll take the 12 things off my desk. Here's the thing we don't want. Can... That mass of cables becoming sentient and coming back looking for No, no. Oh, I mean, yeah. if anything, though, I feel like it would come back that's and thank us. That's what happened with Gargle, us. man. That's, uh... <laughs> come back and thank us for creating it <laughs> yeah. before it kills us. It flies us. away. Yeah. Going to my home planet <laughs> now. <laughs> Cable to um Could be. Under Gavin's desk one time because oh I was boy, collecting. That's, a bad, place that's a bad place. I was yeah. under there collecting bouncy balls. Sometimes you find checks there though, so it's this, true. This was in like the prime. <laughs> They're usually wet and expired. Yeah, <laughs> this is prime bouncy ball days. Uh -huh. Like right after the the cup mm. thing started. Uh -huh. I'm gl I'm glad we bought ten thousand of them. Right. And used two hundred. Hey, we did that one video where we just like the bucket. Bucket. The, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, super dumb. Out. We did okay. that. Came super out. Dumb bucket. I, I mean, even then, that was a bucket. Mm -hmm. We have. A fuck ton. Uh, like a fucking. So I was under Gavin's desk, like collecting them, and I kept like right, going like that on my jeans and stuff, and like cleaning, cleaning. And then I looked down my jeans, and it was all blood on my <laughs> jeans. Oh. And I was like, "Oh, what the hell?" And I looked at my hand; this was all cut open yeah. like, because of glass yeah. under there, like collecting. Yeah, it. he's the worst. And I was just like, oh, under, shit. "Underneath Gavin's desk is like Charlie's bad place. He just like <laughs> he just like goes down there to smash bottles and yeah. shit." Also, there's a new phenomenon happening in the room now when you walk. You just walk in from the door to wherever, and then you lift your shoe up, and there's thumbtacks thumb in the bottom oh, of your yeah. shoe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they've been getting around. Lately. I got tacked yet, but yeah. I, got, I, got, I got tacked, tacked like three times. I got tacked in the live stream. I walked over to, to fix the goddamn camera, came back. There was a fucking tack on my shoe. <laughs> but has anybody been stabbed? <laughs> no, because we have shoes on. No, my, right. Yeah, well, Gavin's the only one that like because the converse he wears have absolutely shoes. no like soles at all. They go right into his feet. <laughs> Every time it's like ah. Oh! <laughs> got one in his, I go, but you can tell you, we're like, something's in my shoe. Yeah, thumbtack. Yeah. I watched, I'm pretty sure Gus walked out of the office the other day and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> out of his office, out of his shoe. We had a pile of thumbtacks next to Gavin's desk on a cooler. Yeah. For uh, some reason. In no container or anything, just dumped I mean, we've had thumbtacks floating around forever because of the cork board. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's why they're it's there, like and it just moves and up. moves and moves and moves and, and dumps. And then you got dumped on top of the cooler, and then a moon ball struck it. <laughs> 
It's possible. I think it was in flinch. It's very possible. It struck the thumbtacks and they all went and now we're like a minefield of Moonball. Moonball has turned down quite a bit. We don't have, we're not, we're not we moonballing nice up. Shit. We have we nice 4K shit monitors Everyone's got 4K Always monitors. Nice we, we have, have something nice to lose. Shit. Yeah. Nicer stuff that we don't want to break yet. Yeah, so it, it has, it had, there have been a couple Moonballs since. There has not been a few. nearly as many. cautious Moonballs, so. Dan, you can't have a cautious Moonball. That's true. Gavin I mean, once the, you release. Gavin was like, Jeremy, give me the Moonball. Please, Jeremy, give me the Moonball. And I was like, all right, you get one, and I threw it to him, and uh, he's like, Jerry, what you have to do, though, is catch it, because that <laughs> won't hit anything. And I was like, or just don't aim it at anything. Or just don't throw you kinda it. Could, you can kind of control where it goes. So he goes like, Moonball, he throws it, and Lewis was sitting on the couch, like, just working on something. Gavin yelled Moonball, and Lewis literally went like this. And leaned down <laughs> and right over his head into the shelves. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't think we were filming it the other day when they were fucking around with the, uh, the kickball. I'm fucking standing there. I think you were you were There's in the room for that. I don't yeah, remember the, the kickball. The, the fucking you know the that's one that's in the now in the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely a kickball. Oh, then maybe I was there because I saw it go in the it's ceiling. The rubber ball. Yeah, the yellow. Like the yellow ball. Yeah. Well, well, was I in for that? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No. I've been in the office for a while. Anyway, anyway, like a anyway, all three of us are like this. Anyway, <laughs> they were they were they were throwing it around or whatever. I'm standing like uh, by my desk, but like closer to Gavin's side. I think I was on my phone or something. I'm standing there. The kickball's going around. Blah blah blah. blah. Trevor or somebody yells or makes a noise. It's like, oh, and like I just glance and I just see the fucking thing coming right for me. That's right. I know Ryan was there because I just went like that and I fucking hit it like two inches from yeah. my head. I just smacked it away and I was like, mother fucker. Like, it hit me right in the fucking head. I think Ryan was at I his desk and he's you. like, I thought it hit you in the head. Because you, yeah. your head went with it though. It you, was you like, went up and it, it, I like flinched and whacked it because I was like, God damn it. <laughs> it was like before 10 a.m. and I almost got hit in the head with a fucking kickball. It's funny, we were actually had a conversation, I think before you got there, about the moon ball. We were like, who hates this the most? We need to hide this ball. And yes, the consensus oh, Michael, was we decided you were the one that hated it. The yeah, Mike didn't give it to you. Yeah, no, I know. We had that conversation uh, that we were going to give it to like, you to hide. We need to hide this. Where can I hide this? And I'm like, why are you going to hide it? Then you'll know where it is. And right. You're the only one that's right. Gonna do then it. he like, even told me he hid it, and I was like, well, I mean, no, you didn't. It's right there in Jeremy's desk. Yeah, because then Gavin goes, went, no, Jeremy, you hide it. You yeah. hate it the most. And I went, no, I don't. Michael does. I mean, I hate it because it Gavin breaks shit. That's yeah. why I yeah. hate it. Yeah, you hate messes. That's what we've come down to. I mean, and again, those are like the they're, they're like the catalyst for a mess. There's there's so. a mess, and then there's our office. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? Hey, do I we mean, want Alfredo? Like, He's asking if he wants. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. When you just trash everything every day forever, it sucks. I don't often throw the moon ball. One of the times yeah. I did it, I decimated Yoshi. Dude, <laughs> fucking <laughs> obliterated. I found his fucking head a couple days later. I have, I have like desk. a couple, you know, little little action figures and knickknacks and whatnot on my desk. Various, uh, some of them are just one solid piece. Some of them are like, <sighs> you actually Dream like connecting together. together. And this one little Yoshi dude, like every limb is a piece, like head, body, arms, legs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember if I was just putting it together or something. It was like something where I'm like, I just walked away from my desk. Like, all right, that's done. I was done. under my desk getting the moon ball. Turned around and literally it's like, moon ball! <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he fucking exploded. There were legs and arms just, everywhere. I looked and literally like the stand and a foot was left. <laughs> Well, he's gone. He's just fucking gone. It was Forget as it. if someone put out a hit on him. Forget it, man. Yeah. It was brutal. That was also, that was right before we got the newer uh, 4K monitors, because you had the nice one, and then I was like, oh man, I'm going to use uh, my nice one for yeah. gaming. And then I switched uh -huh. it, and then your monitor got smashed, yep. and you're like, oh man, my monitor got smashed. To be fair, that was a bowling ball, not a moon ball. It was a mallet. I mean, it was a mallet. I mean, yeah. Oh, mallet. Yeah, it, 1440 it, 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 was, it was a mallet. Yeah, it was a 1440. Um, Yoshi... Soften the blow to my monitor. You threw the moon ball, it fucking smashed through Yoshi, ripped him to pieces, and then dented the bottom of my monitor. I was like, God damn it, Jeremy! There's like one little like scratch, like scratch right at the bottom. Monitor. But now I have the new one anyway, so who cares? Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I was a... like, motherfucking moon ball, motherfucker. <laughs> We just we uh, had someone come visit recently, and it's, it's the worst time to visit us because we got such a pile of new stuff, and all it did was generate boxes. And yeah. Oh boxes. yeah. No, we we every we got eight 4K monitors. We got mm -hmm. eight Xbox One Xs. So we yeah, all of those. Yeah. So we because well, uh, of two, it's this yeah. main six uh -huh. and then two others. Um, and then we got. Uh, you already had one. 
everyone yeah. had a new keyboards. New keyboard, new, new mouse. Yeah, Razer and said mouse his new, pad. new keyboard, mouse, and mouse pads. Those were like, they were crazy rainbow uh, uh, mouse pads. And so there RGB. were, there were, yeah, there were so many goddamn boxes. They're still in the room. They're slowly, like, going away, I've noticed. Yeah. That's good, but... Yeah, we need. We Are need they to, melting? I think so. They're slowly going away. I've noticed. Well, I, like, I don't know much, where they go. But. Pretty much every day before I leave, I take a few boxes and just uh, shove them in our recycling bins because someone takes those away. I, those those disappear in the morning. So I'm like, all right, I'll put a couple someone in there. Eats and them. They'll slowly just like you know eat away at the you know. Every box, now and again, we fill file. up the action cab and take that over to yeah. Uh, the dump Although someone filled it with peanuts right now, so I was like, God damn it, that's always a pain in the ass. Oh, like, packing peanuts are the worst. Because yeah. then you have to like lift the whole thing up and yeah. dump it, and then inevitably wind blows them all over the parking lot. Why do they make them? Just make those fucking bubble ones yeah, that you pop. Things. The air, the air uh, cushions. I think yeah. some of the new peanut things. Ugh. You just like if you hit them with water, they just evaporate. Yeah, Interesting. they're like sugar based, or not yeah. sugar, like um, like a starch kind of based thing or something. Nothing's worse than just styrofoam, like yeah. white. Yeah, like, like the, the, the little monitor rips ones, or the balls. You know, like you, yeah. you can't. It just they cling to everything. It's full of static. It's the worst. Yes, like when you go like this, you see it like just splaying everywhere in your yeah. house, and you're like, fuck. Fuck, where do I open this? Like I always open it like in the garage and keep the mess. Otherwise, like I hate the I hate the little fucking things like clinging to the carpet and shit. The little pieces of styrofoam. Yeah, and shit yeah, because like yeah. it's like the flakes, they go everywhere. I open There's my always monitor, like little pieces. Which has styrofoam all around it. And I opened it and started cutting it and little pieces were starting to fall off. And Lindsay's like, this is Michael's nightmare. She said yep. it while she was watching it. She's like, he hates that stuff. Mm-hmm. It's true. So yeah. It's my, the worst. I, anytime I have it in my house, yeah, it sucks. Like you know, normally I just I have a room that has like nothing in it, so I just vacuum up the shit when I'm done with it. But the cats love it, like styrofoam and shit. So unless I get rid of it immediately, like get the styrofoam out to the trash and then vacuum it up quickly, I see Scooter like run out and he's just covered it. Oh, that's even worse. He covers himself in it and runs and he loves it. And shit goes everywhere. I'm like, sweet, awesome. I should mention, so we're uh as we're going early, obviously, if you're watching, um, and the reason is because uh, we've got RTX Australia next week. And, yeah, we do. Uh, we basically don't have time to RTX shoot. RTX Sydney. To shoot, uh, yes, it, uh, RTX Sydney. Tickets um, still available, rtxsydney.com. Buy tickets, Theater Mode Live. We uh, don't RT- have time yeah. to shoot yeah. next week's podcast. Yeah. yeah, well, VIP, Theater Mode Live. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, so we're fucking doing two today, just back to back. Just one after another. Tune in next week to yeah. see the tail end of the show. Yeah, drop. exactly. So yeah. if you really want to see how we fare after the first podcast rolling into the second one, tune in next week. I mean, it was that or... Sup, loser! We just, uh... Get a microphone on. No, talk to him. Talk yeah, to him. We really need, uh... <laughs> we are, we're basically only in Monday next week, and we got to film a bunch of shit, and we don't yeah. have time for the podcast. Plus, like, scheduling with broadcast, because obviously everybody's got to pre-shoot their yeah, shit yeah. for Australia. So I was like, fuck it, let's just do two in a row. So we gotta do this or Crazy. smash the table and then do episode two uh, somehow. Well, not episode two, but the next one uh, probably without a table. Yeah, I'm sure they have some sort of well, plan. We'll figure for it that. out. You yeah. know, go with so, it. Um, yeah, we also kind of kind of works out great because Alfredo. Gives, oh, hey, uh, oh, it gives Marcus plenty of fucking time to make a new one. That's, That's true. true. We're not shooting an episode until like three weeks from today. Back in this room. Yeah, answer your phone, please. Yeah, phone call. <laughs> Someone's got a rotary phone. It was like that was like a phone you'd answer like in a fire department. Oh, Ryan's picking a seat. I can tell. No, I was just like, I better check and see because I don't have like a good seat. Oh, I can tell you. I'm I'm sitting. You're up there. No, no, I'm right, right there. Did you pick your seat yet? No, I did. Started. Oh, well, of course it started. Not only is it started, but Jeremy's encouraging. Yo ho ho. Is that bro? And a bottle of yum. Are we keeping the (laughs) CFP, man? (laughs) Yeah, the cute. To I celebrate actually, the newest addition to the AHCU. The, apparently, there's like a yeah. crack that you can chase down or something like that. What happened? In the, in the sea. There's, there's a like crack in the like, yeah. sea. Has anyone oh, found it yet? I was looking to see if anyone had found it. Uh, but they, apparently, I saw driving, a picture like, of a tentacle and I was like, that's not I've hentai. Heard. And so I don't know if this that's or is it? Yeah, or yeah, no. maybe. I don't know. Apparently, Crossover. going into storms is like a lot of fun. Like apparently, like you can actually like you know boat right into a storm and like do some fun shit in those. So Ooh. we should try. I, I've heard, and of course, I think this is just rumor at this point that the kraken might actually be some form of raid. Oh really? Oh, ah, which cool. would be really cool. But I, I yeah, have I'm nothing for, to back that I'm up. I just read it. Like, I hope it's like got a good uh, launch. Well, I'm curious. I hope it's meaty and it's got stuff to do in it. I'm curious how many people are going to be on one server at a time. Yeah. Because if it's something where it's just like over full, it's going to be constant as chaos. Yeah, well, that's no fun no, that. it'll be split up, I'm sure. Yeah, because it, it's been pretty good for us. Like, we'll see people, but it won't be like constant just barrage no. of yeah. people. Well, we tried, which is just good because every time we see somebody, we die. Yeah. Fight, fight, fight. We, we tried um, just the other day uh, to start because you can choose like 
whether you start by yourself with a small crew or with a large crew, yeah. because you can get up to four players. You can do four, like, two, like or a, one. In like a team, basically. Yeah. Um, so we all picked single ships and tried to meet up at like the same island, and we couldn't see each other. Like, yeah. We were all on, like yeah. the four of us were all on different servers. So I don't know how that's gonna play out when the full game's released, because we were just trying to see if we could get more than four of us together, like two crews of, of two or, or whatever. Or like, yeah, a crew of four and two single ships. Yeah, but we, we, yeah, at least three. in the closed beta, there was no way that we could see to end up together. Um, but I don't know how it'll release. I feel like that game would really benefit from custom servers. Yeah. yeah, everyone having their own little tiny ship. Well, That'd can you imagine? Chaos, a like, let's, on, I uh, the water. Imagine a Let's Play family. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Yeah, yeah, right. Each, each yeah. team cool. has their own ship. It'd it would be, be cool insane. That'd be fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. I don't know. I don't know uh, like what kind of legs the game has for us anyway, as far as videos. But we we did a stream this week in it. Um, and we just shot a video. Yeah. In it yesterday, and those are both really fun. They're yeah. just and so, it's just like so pirate stupid. Voices. They're back. Yeah, pirate voices the whole time. No if you, if you, choice. If you hate at the all. pirate voices, <laughs> we are sorry. sorry. Yeah. There's lots of them. I mean, Michael's character is one of my favorite characters, like from any video. Yeah. Peg, Peg Pecker is Peg Pecker, Peg Pecker, Peg Pecker yeah. is like just the fact that a he he's kind of an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> In yeah. times yeah. when you're like, or it be to the west, and I'm like, it's to the east. I'm looking at it. And you're like. <laughs> I'd be looking at the map upside down, <laughs> like on the top of the table, like looking at the map. Like, but also, you sing these sea shanties. Yeah, I oh, try. Yeah. yeah, like they're like play pal style they're sea really shanties. Good. Yeah, <laughs> you just like rhyme while well, you're you, playing. Yeah, you have like two instruments right off the bat. You can play with an accordion and, and some like a mandolin. Sort of, of some we, yeah, 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 like a crank. And it just yeah, and it's it like plays a crank like flight of the condor. It's like yeah. There's really only like two or three songs, so there's not a lot of variety. But I I, I tried a couple of. So Michael's like, this situation reminds me of a shanty. I'm like, I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> like, starts singing. Uh, well, we have, between the four of us, uh, uh, we've got um, Peg Pecker. Peg Pecker. Uh, Captain Shortbeard. I'm Shortbeard, um, yeah. Uh, lazy. Yeah, is, is la lazy <laughs> slash Navigator Jack. Navigator Jack's what I and, call uh, him. Yeah. Two Legs. Uh, Willie Two Legs. Willie, Willie two, two, legs. two Legs, that's <laughs> it. I call him Two Legs Willie. All right, Willie yeah, Two Legs. Two Legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'd be named that because I'd be having two legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, that's good. Makes sense. If you didn't pick up on it, Peg Pecker, he's got no dick. So he doesn't have a peg leg. He's, he's got, got a peg pecker. pecker. He's got a peg, peg pecker. Yeah, yeah. And it randomly assigns you a body, right? Like you can't yeah, pick who you are. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I think I'm I think a very most large of us, woman. Well, most yeah. of us were female. Yeah. yeah. Maybe eventually you'll be able to because in I the trailer imagine. it shows all these customizations for. Well, they characters. also they had like costumes you can buy, and it's like there's a dress, and if you're a big dude, like I don't know if he can put that on. <laughs> uh, I'm so sure he can. can. Looking at the game, he can. I bought a belt though with with the gold. I bought a belt and didn't put it on and couldn't find it. You couldn't figure it out. I was like, I bought a belt. That was gonna cost me a hundred gold. That belt. Like, oh well. Dude, we had a hell of an adventure. belt or something. What a what a anticlimactic end to it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a pirate's <laughs> life. Pirate's you know, life, man. Man. We did a multi-step journey. On the last step, it just kind of fell apart, and mm -hmm. I was like, ah. Oh, and Michael had a great chance. Yeah, yeah, we wrapped it up. Though. It we wrapped it up at the it, last moment. It wrapped up nicely. Literally at one point, I think it was in the video, not the stream. I go, I be a fan of the play pals. Yeah, <laughs> like, I was like, like, singing the songs. Oh boy, it's a fun game though. I'm looking forward to it. That comes out in March, right? March yeah. 20th. I assume yeah. the beta is over. This weekend, probably. they're probably they extended, extended a little it. bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not that it's gonna help it was, us. We'll be in Australia. Yeah, well, fully broken. Well, it's supposed to end like yesterday, and then extended like two days or something already. Nobody so. that bought it from Microsoft could play. Yeah, it. they yeah. kind of got screwed. It was like you're too early. Even the string not, instrument is a hurdy gurdy. Uh, of course, that's what I was gonna say. That's what Clay said. I heard the gird. I heard the gird. So I figured. It has to be a hurdy gurdy. And so everyone, everyone's excited for uh, Sea of Thieves, and also they want us to destroy the table. We'll destroy the table. I mean, we'll get to it. We're you know, gonna... chill your bill, son. You we gotta, gotta have a little bit of foreplay first. Yeah, we also know? need yeah. to do an episode Scott's first yeah. before we, do we have, have do we the table. Do we have rights to? It's so hard to say goodbye. That we could play when we're destroying. The uh, game. No, but I think we have rights to um, shoot to thrill. Oh, okay, uh, cool. Yeah, no, that's that's I think they bought that. Actually, yeah, no. yeah. I think, I think we have Thunderstruck. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah, that'd be good. Is that pretty sure? Yeah, Boys to Men who sings that? Thunderstruck. No. It's so hard to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. Boys to Men? Is yeah, I think right. I think getting I think, I think I think it was Madonna. I think it's really so. hard to say goodbye to. Them. No, that's living uh, on sand. Uh, on sand and fair. No, that's the uh, that's the song from uh, uh, League of Their Own. Got it. Man. Dude, I've been I've been watching like a hawk. The weather like a hawk. Like a hawk. 
<laughs> the weather in uh, Cairns, Australia. Mm -hmm. That's where Kat and I are going to go diving, and it's mm -hmm. the rainy season right oh, now. Oh, you're, you're not going to see the water. Yeah, anyway. water. Well, so here's the thing. Raining? Fine. They're like, if it's raining, we're going out in the boat. If it's uh, thunderstorms, that's bad. they're yeah. like, we're not going out. And we last, like this week, the weather was like, it was like rain, rain, thunderstorm, rain, rain, thunderstorm, thunderstorm, rain, rain. I was like, fucking Christ. There was like one day that was like partly cloudy. And I was like, Ugh. pick that one. Yeah, that well, that, that's perfect. But that was this week. And well, I'm like trying to use it to predict. Pick what that day like. next week. Right. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. Tell that bitch Monday nature to hold the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. tell <laughs> that bitch Monday nature. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Tell, tell that bitch. Uh, you right? Just yeah. started. I'm not going to let you destroy the table. Turning, it's still turning it. on here. You be, you're not going to be allowed to hold an axe if you can't talk straight. Right. Uh, <laughs> Nicole says you're supposed to be able to make Get your character there. in the full game release. So I guess All in the right. full ah. game you'll be able to make your whole character. Shark beer. I shark beer. Shark beer. A lot of money. Dude. Oh, I should I should go back to First mate peg pecker. Yes, right. right. First mate yeah. peg pecker. Yeah. Hard, hard getting a roll read on the uh, <laughs> the ranks on the ship. Well, yeah, I mean, it's you know, it's interesting because the four of us played. Uh, uh, what was it? We need to go deeper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we all kind of took different roles. Like Michael, you're the you're the pilot in that one, and I'm definitely like yes. the pilot in this one. Uh huh. And then uh, no one's really manning the cannons. I mean, everyone kind of mans the cannons. Well, whatever, Jeremy's like, manned the cannons. Who, whoever slightly I order, because <laughs> yeah. uh, I keep asking him to shoot me out of the. Wait, cannon. you can yeah. do yourself. You can shoot yourself. You can aim the cannon, get in, and fire. Yourself. Yeah, but it's more fun. Does it hurt you when you land? Like, no. Uh, if you slam into a rock, it does. I did that. It can, can, but I. You shot me. I did. Well, you I shot you. You skipped me island. like a stone. Well, like I shot you onto the island at one point, and then uh, Ryan's like, "I shoot me," and I'm like, "Okay," and I put him in and fired him. And he's like, "You missed." <laughs> like, way, way past the island. Yeah, dude. One, one. You were shooting me on the beach. I cleared the entire island and landed on the beach on the yeah. opposite <laughs> side. And then like, I and so I was like, "Oh, now I want to get shot on the cannon." Like. Jack was working on like stopping the boat, and I'm like, Jack, prepare to. And I watched him jump off the side. So I'm like, All right, and I was gonna help, and I got inside, and I was like, Oh, did it be self? And I hit a rock. And, like, it lost I fucking my love one of the treasures we found. It was like we had to go to the island and dig up treasure. It was like me and Ryan. I think it was when I you fired me out, and then Ryan and me and Ryan yeah. are like, Where be the treasure? And we we're looking for it. We're like, We'll have it dug up and ready when the captain arrives. We're running in circles. So I was like, Where? Where is, <laughs> where is it? And fucking Jeremy's like, it's right in front of you. It's over there. And we're like, where the hell is it? And he's like, oh, idiot, over here. Like, Fuck it, forget it. I dug it up. Yeah, <laughs> like, Jeremy I got there, dug it up, and then carried it. Like, I'm like, oh, it was the. Oh, okay, okay, Captain. Got Michael's it. Like he's holding the map of him. He's like, so hard to tell which island we're on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like it's, we're north or east? Uh -huh. No, we're north. Somewhere. No, where he's. <laughs> he was like just trying I, I'm to. I'm like, not sure. And you're like, shut up. I got it. There's idiot. certain mechanics in the game that are so funny, like that they put in, like just the fact that you can take your map and you can spin show it, it to people. Yeah, show it, it to people. You'd be like, have you seen this? <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, look here. Or what does it say? Like, right, two leg can't read. <laughs> so he's always like, what does this say? <laughs> he goes up to people. I also like it just has this like piratey feel, where like the bottom is uh, when there's a riddle, it'd be like some kind of. Text and riddle. The, yeah, yeah, riddle. Go here is the riddle. Yeah, uh, and then the bottom's blurred out. And then when you get to the island, it like magically uh, fades in. like fades Ooh. in, so you can read it. And then it's pirate like, shit. Yeah. Go, go here now. Yeah, it's exactly. Basically what it says. Uh, but it's a it's a lot of fun. It's a game that I don't know. I mean, even if you take the stupid pirate voices out. I don't know how you don't role play that game. Yeah. Right. How do you play that game without going, I got the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah. it's the whole goddamn point of we, the game. What we need to do, though, um, for the full release Learn is, how to play it. Well, I will learn. <laughs> we're, I mean, we're getting there, I think. I, I, I would assume, too, once you get more treasure and stuff, you can upgrade your ship. Arr, yeah. Probably. Ooh. Right? And I mean, we've already lost three. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully upgrade Wait, the ship. Sink? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They're insured. Don't hopefully worry about it's it, like though. GTA style, where when you upgrade your ship and then it sinks, it comes back upgraded. Yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, I hope. Because uh, we, we lost a lot of ships. We ain't <laughs> holding on to a ship. Can you buy shit. insurance for a ship? <laughs> in, in our new there, video, was, there was a fucking point where I'm looking at the map and you guys were like <laughs> taking treasure back. We got treasure and then you're taking it back to like turn it in to get money. And I'm looking at the map. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. And then all of a sudden the map's like fucking blue. I'm like, why is the map blue? Oh, we're sinking! We're sinking! Oh! No, the Let's Play that we just recorded like starts off with me and Ryan, because Ryan wasn't in the live stream. And I'm like, all right, two leg, did I tell you the story of me first three ships? <laughs> 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 I start talking about them. Rinse through them like paper. <laughs>
<laughs> it is pretty easy to, to rip the it's hull open very on it. Easy. Yeah, you drop the anchor while moving. That thing. Oh will yeah, we go full speed. speed and we we'll get to the island not. and drop the anchor and like rips the yeah, bottom. We off. stop. <laughs> no, we stop. Yeah, there's like all right. I'll spend five minutes bailing out water and repairing. So <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you only have to spend time bailing if you miss the leak. Right. Yeah, that's true. What that's we need true. to do is have I'm someone serious. wait in, in underneath the ship from right. now on. Like, <laughs> yeah. That'd be Gavin. Waiting cabin boy, Gavin. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> God, I wish you could do six players in that game. I know. Man. Yeah. Well, that's but, what my thought know, was. Future, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, maybe we can get away with it doing like a Deadliest Catch esque, like. Two crews. Two crews, and it cuts back and forth. Like, meanwhile, <laughs> on the. The slutty sea ship. Right. Oh, let's hire the Mike Rowe. donkey. Yeah. We can yeah, get Mike Rowe to do it. it. Probably. Everybody loves that guy. I love Mike Rowe. Who doesn't? You're everybody. You're part of everybody. But literally the other day, um, I was. You met Mike Rowe. Loved him. I would. I would love to meet Mike Rowe. He was, just. He's your. He's your normal guy. Dude, he's your typical normal guy. Except you, not really. He's have like you seen genius. his QVC videos? What he's doing? Oh yeah. For QVC? Yep. Holy yep. Shit. When he's like super sarcastic so, about yeah, it. Yeah. He used to work for he's the like, Home Shopping Network. Whatever this is. Yeah. And it would be like, here's a sword. For when you need a sword in your house, right? Like, yeah, just going, swing like, this right, around. Yeah, Watch out. Talk for five minutes <laughs> yep. about this, and like, apparently he got fired, and then requested to be brought back. He got fired like four times, and the audience was like, "No, no, no, bring him back!" And they bring him back. Because he's so he damn likable. He's he's super super I'm like, he would like pick something up. He's like, "We got a, uh, we got this thing. You can't miss. Uh, Five ninety nine. Some of you might feel that's worth it for that. I mean, you could, uh, you know, maybe use it around the house. Like, you'll do that with any. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at young yeah, Mike he's, he's a young, he young is. man. Oh, yeah. Right. So apparently before we'd invented TV. <laughs> what is Play, he selling there? There's yeah. a lava oh, light. There's oh, lava light. Man. $45 for a lava Just light. Just his, his complete, genuine, like, yeah, it's, uh, you turn it on. You probably look at it, you know? He was like he's the like best an salesman <laughs> ever. Isn't he also like an opera singer? I, I think he really? is. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like He's he's like, a gentleman right there. That but yeah. He's also fucking, he's like a genius, too. Yeah. Guy's really. like super smart. Which is yeah. why he probably wouldn't show up. Yeah. Here, but uh, no, let's, yeah. let's get Mike Rowe around for something. Yeah. We, the other day, stuff. Kat and I were like sitting down, like, get him what, are we, merch. what are we going to watch? We didn't really want to start watching something. And every time we're like, what should we watch? There's a million things that we don't watch. Series, and people are like, I love the series. It's the greatest sure. ever. We never want to do that because we don't want to exactly put on something we have to pay attention to. We like to put on something that can be going on, and then we can get up and go do something, and we're not like, all right, no. That's why I always watch anymore. repeats of everything. I, right. I, my time to like, my time to watch TV is vast. Yeah. But my time to like sit down and solely watch TV and pay attention to it is minuscule. It's, exactly. So, so, it's so like that's why I rewatch The Office and Sunny and like all that crap a million times. I was like, that's on. you know, because normally we just do that with Futurama. Right. And now that's yeah. gone off Netflix. So we were like, uh, is it not on Hulu? I don't know. Hulu's getting it. everything. Netflix is losing We're like, all their shit. You know, we could buy something on Amazon Prime, like buy a show and then just have it and stuff like that. And she was like, oh, buy Dirty Jobs. I love Dirty Jobs. And I was like, all right, cool. So he bought like a bunch of seasons. Of he dirty makes jobs. it interesting. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't care about the show, but Mike wrote, like, I can just listen to the guy talk. Yeah. He just, exactly. Like, like, he knows what he's saying. And he's, he's just, like, he's, like, he's like, a fu he's a, the funniest type of asshole. He's really funny. Yeah. 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 Did you see the one where he was working in like a rice factory or something? And there was like, this bag of rice that was like this tall, and it was just like giant. He went to pick it up with the forklift and just ran into it and knocked it <laughs> over, and it all spilled all over the floor. And the the owner's like, "All right, you got a job now, Mike." And he's like, "Typically, this is where we pack it up and just hang it." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "You're such this an asshole." There you go. It's so great. That's where you cut the break. He's like, "Production just halts whenever I show up." <laughs> <laughs> great guy. Get over here, Mike Rowe. I was, I was, I was like, something. this is like years ago, but he was doing um, some kind of like speaking engagement. And it was just like he was on stage talking about something. And I, I don't even remember what the hell he was talking about, but I saw it online. I clicked it. I was watching like a minute of it. It was over. It was like an hour long. I was like, holy shit. Just yeah. like listening to the guy talk. Like, it's just, he just, like, he makes everything he's talking about so interesting and like relatable. You know, he's got such a like a good way to like put it on. A dumbass level, so someone like me could understand it. Um, so it's like a thing where like he can talk to people and kind of generalize something, but he knows exactly what he's talking about. I don't know. It's just like he's a super interesting dude. I feel the same way uh, about Dave Chappelle. Mm. Like, like I just even in his latest like New Year's stand up stuff that he released, like the the second one where he just goes off on a tangent. That's, and that's time. like tiny as fuck yeah. too. And he's I'm like in like a man. club with like thirty people, yep. and he's just getting real chill. And I'm like, <laughs> there are so many layers to you that aren't just white face. So. 
But his white face Larry is funny. It, it's really it's very good. funny. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in one day. We were, we were just looking at that the other day. <laughs> Dave Chappelle in white face. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can wear it. It's fine. <laughs> the, what was it? The reparations video. <laughs> yeah, that was that was one of them. He does the yeah. He did the white like reporter on the Chappelle show. But yeah. it was like my, <laughs> yeah. The, reparation, the racial draft. <laughs> the reparations was my one of my favorite. <laughs> he's, he's just like. Reparations have gone out, and black people are tripping over themselves to give the money back immediately. <laughs> and they were just like going nuts spending it. And then they, this is like woman interviewing uh, the guy at like Ashley Larry, Larry on the show. And she's like, "Sir, now that you've got your reparations, are you? Uh, do you plan on quitting from your uh, truck driving job?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm not a truck driver. I just bought this truck and filled it with enough cigarettes to last me and my family for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I'm rich, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> and then he's just like fucking. Drives away. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hilarious. I haven't watched that show in years. I gotta rewatch the first two seasons of the Spell Show. There were only so what, three seasons good. of it, right? Yeah. There's three, but three's like the he already left. It yeah, was like out. it was like they grabbed whatever skits they already started, but the season was hosted by uh Charlie, like Charlie Murphy, Murphy yeah. slash the guy that played Ashley Larry. Okay. The two of them like co like kinda hosted it like after Chappelle left. La- season three is almost like it's like a clip show almost yeah, of yeah. like, and here's some Ooh. crap that we had that didn't make it in the season. Here two. was thirty right. seconds from that skit you loved. Basically, that you used. yeah. Here's season three leftovers. is not great. Season three Alfredo is not great. I pointed, I pointed out the, I pointed out the McRiddles to Alfredo. He's gonna save me. Alfredo, make what, sure we have to save at least one to throw at the table. Oh, Alfredo, perfect. what are you, you going to stream next week when everyone's out of uh, out in Sydney? Yeah, I don't know, just me. Lonely in the room. <laughs> yeah. Is it gonna be you being good at Battlegrounds? You can I'm gonna turn that. on all six cams, put them on, and I'm just gonna have like focus get, all the cameras you know, on you. No, yeah. you should, or just get up to everybody. You should do yeah. um, you should do uh like a squad Battlegrounds with just yourself and like yeah, you could have you should invite you could have four lives. Oh, I mean that was us last night. We were playing with you the invite oh, Bernie to do it. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. you only had one. You're probably exhausted today from carrying these guys through Battlegrounds. Yeah, yeah. dude. Uh, oh my god, yesterday. Well, there's literally there's, there's the usual carrying, which is Alfredo carrying us, and then there's we snapped his spine and he's dead on the ground <laughs> and we've crushed him to death. I so. jump in and instantly Andy goes, "I'm getting right in the backpack." I'm like, "Andy, please." <laughs> there was one part where there's two guys like right in front of us. I knock down one, and then I go down. I'm like, "He's right in front of you, straight ahead, Andy." And he's like, "Coordinates, coordinates." I'm like. In front of you, <laughs> coordinates. What? What are the uh, twenty feet in front of you, Andy? <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe he still needs like the numbers. But then, literally, the next fucking map, we're like, he's like, all right, where are we going? Where are oh, we going? Diving. I'm like, all right, uh, this is, we're jumping straight, out. Of, we're yeah, jumping, jumping out of the out, plane. Jumping out of the yeah. plane. He's like, all right, where are we going? Where are we going? I'm like, straight down. He's like, huh, coordinates, coordinates, straight fucking down, Andy. He's like, damn, <laughs> motherfucker, look down. <laughs> Go down. Die, die, die. <laughs> He was. Then, like I said, then the rest of the night he was hamming up. Like, all right, there's an AKM here if somebody needs it. And he's like, "Where's like? Oh, I'm sorry. There's an AKM at 350. It's two feet to your left at 350, dumbass. Do you see it? Sorry, let me check the coordinates. <laughs> also, I want to just tell you the mindset right before we started, just so you can uh, tell the uh, group of professionals uh, you're dealing with here. Um, Andy and I were playing some duos before we jumped in with Alfredo and a friend of Andy's. Um, but we're waiting in the lobby for Alfredo to get there, and we're sitting there. I'm talking to him on Discord, and like, blah blah blah, blah. and he's like, oh, oh, I, oh, I sh- I, oh, I might have shit my pants. Hang on, I might have shit my pants. And then he just runs off. He runs off. I'm like, oh, I might have shit his pants. He comes back. He comes back. He comes back with, ah, oh, we're good. We're good. He sits down, and I go. Oh, you didn't shit your pants? He goes, oh, no, I shit my pants, but it didn't touch my underwear, though, so. Wait, what? I just, I just what? had to do Wait. a quick cleanup. Like, he shit in his, he caught it in his the, ass. The cheeks in the cheeks, so it. he ran oh, and, like, cleaned up. He created a Wait, seal. what? But my point is, not only did he do that, to him, that's, we're good. Nailed it. Like, I, again, I Crisis go, oh, so, so you didn't shit? And he's like, oh, I shit my pants. Now the whole and then, and then ram a, situation makes sense. Right, like, and then, and then again. He didn't shit his pants, he shat in his it's pants. It's true, it's, it's a conversation that we've, con- that we've had for years in Achievement Hunter, whether <laughs> like Gavin or Jeff are shitting their pants and what qualifies shitting your pants. I say if shit comes out of your ass, you shit your pants, period. While you have Ga- pants on. Yeah. While you have pants huh. on. Gavin says, in an Andy-like fashion, Gavin's like, no, it has to like, 
you have to shit in your like underwear, underwear? for it to count. Or I'm shit like, on listen, something. if shit comes out of your ass unintentionally while you're wearing clothes, you <laughs> shit your pants. I can see both That's sides of the it. argument. I'm sorry. I just I don't want to see a guy going like like I shit his pants and he's got shit in his ass and he goes, well technically. I mean, I didn't. It's see, like, but you sir, wouldn't see the shit in his sir, ass. As soon as again, it hits the look, pants, my, you're out. my qualifier for this, did you shit your pants? Do you have to go to the bathroom to clean yourself up? Then yes. you've shit your pants. Right, yeah, all right. That's 100%, it. 100%, that is I mean, that's I, there's it. There's got to be a, the gradient of... The, of <laughs> Does there? I mean, look, if it's a big difference <laughs> You need that shit gradient. I shat my pants, and now my underwear has got to go. Now we don't have stand a chance of getting Mike Rowe on with this conversation. I mean, I understand... It's a dirty job. It's a dirty job. Somebody's got to do it. I understand severity of shitting your pants. But even in that conversation, you're discussing how bad you shit your pants. In all honesty, I came this close to shitting my pants this morning. Yeah, this morning? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just this morning. I was on the treadmill. Oh, really? oh and yeah. I was, and the morning, the morning, morning I was, I was exerting, right? <laughs> I'm on the treadmill, I'm running. You want to break like, your stride? Or? I was like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta fart really bad. Uh -oh. like, so I was like, I'm on the treadmill. And then I was like, no, no one's on the treadmills next to me. I guess I'll just oh, go ahead. Oh, it's at the gym. Yeah, it's at oh the gym. God. Oh my god! Another thing at your house. No, now it's like shit your pants when I go to the gym, gym oh. it's like it forces me. Because you're do probably it. in shorts. I, I, I lift don't come right and then I do the treadmill. You gotta be careful when you put on the ballast tanks when you're. What do you do on first? Lift, lift or cardio? I lift then cardio. That's oh, what I do. A warm up, really? Yeah, do a warm up. I do the other way around. Yeah, I always do cardio first. So I was like doing cardio. I am with. And so like, I'm running and I just fart really bad, and I was like. Might be something in there. I don't know yet. It's like, it's like right now, it's up in the air. It's up in the air whether something has gone wrong. You know? Yeah. Every once in a while, like, sometimes you know what? it's just your ass is rearranged a little bit. It's like it feels a little warmer in there than usual. Uh, and the thing was, what I realized is when I was stationary, I didn't feel like, oh my god, I gotta go so bad. But when I was bouncing and moving, yeah. I was like, not good. You get like so that, I was like, that hit. I was like, like I'm gonna knocking. cut this run kind of short. Nope. <laughs> like, nope. didn't go to the full run. You get to cut the run and go like, cut some rope. I was like, cut the run, and then I just went home. Dude, that's dangerous. <laughs> you shit, it falls out your shorts, and then you step on it, it's stuck on the treadmill. And treadmill. then it just goes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, how do you hide I've, that? I know, I've never... Or does the turd just sit there like, constantly rolling <laughs> on the... I like how you've escalated. That's how hard it is. Beyond it shitting is the worst. Like, I've never thought, like, okay, what's good? If I shit my pants, then the shit will get stuck to the treadmill. Then shit my pants is the end for me. Like, okay. That's the end of the nightmare. Well, crazy. also, I mean, I'm wearing the Achievement Hunter joggers. Those things hug your ankles oh, pretty good. You probably would have get shit. shit. <laughs> it would get yeah, in the ankle. Just, oh, yeah, but the, what if it hit the treadmill and went flying off? And hit that's the what I'm worried about. The problem, what you need to be worried about, too, if it was like a little turd, like, you'd be trapped. But if it was like a splat, you'd have a stain on your pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll seep through. Right, if yeah. It's like, or is that in Which between where it's soft, where it's just like, it's hard, it's like hard enough where it'll get through the joggers, but then too soft where if it it's hits gonna the squish. treadmill. I've heard that's like it's one of those things squish. like with the extreme mm. runners, like the super marathon people, it's like, sometimes they just shit I've heard I've with seen like, video with like that. anyone that's not human, it's totally normal people shit themselves. I mean like weightlifters, they shit their pants all the time. All the time. Or like all they're like the lifting time. and they just like vomit. Yep. Like, like, <laughs> Dude, the number of times <laughs> like while they're lifting. comes out. I've seen that. That's what else so you under do? pressure it's, too, it's like shoots Oh, it's awesome, it's crazy. I love that. I like those, you see those videos though, they got such focus, they never stop. They're like, I'm they, don't have, they don't have That's time. It. They don't it's have time. The world's strongest men, those are people with callous bod. Those are the people that yeah. like, they're not like cut or anything, they have a gut out to here and they're like, yeah, but I can lift 18 tires on a bar. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, oh, these guys. Destiny, great callous bod. Yeah, callous bod. <laughs> he knows. He knows. No I remember when fun. that moment happened. We went down the hallway. There was a statue in the Jeremy. That's a statue. That's what I, I go. Don't you guys listen to Jeremy and Destiny? He was fucking drooling over the guy. He was just like, oh, that's the kind of. That's what I, I want. want. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, that one? there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck gotta, yes. Yeah. Also, the guys got fashion sense. Look at that. Yeah, Look really at that. Purple, purple and gold. gold. Purple and gold, man. Purple that's what gold, the whole raid was. You know. I'm all about it. Seems like a high neck on that thing would really interfere with your snacking. Hey, you know what? Maybe just a bowl, maybe. Oh, speaking of shitting your pants, what would be the best thing to do that in? Well, don't do it. But if you're gonna, make sure you're wearing some underwear. And why not wear the most comfortable pair you can find? Me undies. You want to look good with your significant? Let's try that again. It's like this. No, no, it makes sense. It didn't make sense in my head. You want to look good with your significant other this Valentine's Day, right? That dude, chick, 
Whatever. You're significant. You're SO, as they say. Body pillow. Then check out MeUndies Matching Pairs, a unique fun gift for you and your Valentine. They're the perfect balance of comfortable fit and exciting prints. Check out MeUndies.com and find the best match for your match. MeUndies are the most comfortable and fun undies you and your significant other will ever own. They're made from the softest materials on earth. We're talking three times softer than cotton soft. Match pairs are fun, thoughtful, comfortable gift you can share with your significant other. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. MeUndies guarantees you and your significant other will love your matching pairs or your money back. Right now, MeUndies has an exclusive Valentine's Day offer, which is just right around the corner. Uh, for any first-time purchasers, when you purchase MeUndies matching pairs, you get 20% off and free shipping. MeUndies is so sure you'll love their underwear. They offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't love your first pair, you get a full refund. To get your 20% off your matching pairs, free shipping, a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. This will be the best Valentine's Day gift that you will give. Start matching your bottom half to your better half. Go to MeUndies.com slash off topic right now. Dude, that was a damn good tagline at the end there. Right? Yeah. Dude, start matching your bottom half to your better, better half. half. That's, that's awesome. genius. That's pretty good. That's like something I'd give them and they'd use, except this one time I didn't give it to them. They just did it yeah. without me, proving that's they right. don't need me. Those MeUndies. Damn. Well, I walk need around, to read it. They need me to read it. Uh, MeUndies, they're super comfy. Uh, they are. You know, why I'm not buy... wearing some right I'm now. wearing some right Why now? not oh. buy a matching pair? Maybe buy, Ryan, buy one for you and one for Jack this Valentine's oh. Day. Oh. You know? Yeah. MeUndies, man. You walk around with MeUndies, you're going to... You're gonna turn on your significant other, I'm telling you. Like Those, you're gonna turn they on. They hug everything nicely. They make just, everything look good. They hug and snug. Nice, like, they give you a good They give you a good bulge. They and, like, give you solid package. Got they give you it. solid package. They do. That's yeah. that's gonna be in the next ad read. Could yeah. be. Me undies. You they can they use that you one. Solid yeah. package. Yeah. They, use they, that lift, one. they lift your ass. Make your ass look good too. I'm just walking out like yeah. Like spanks. Like baby, this ain't stuff. It's just packed together. Yeah. It's just a single unit. You know. Yeah. Just like exactly. That's they. They help solidify. Uh, junk. Yes. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, what's that? Junk. They have like a junk pocket. It's all in the just... front. Yeah. It's nice. They're kept nice. Good. Yeah. And they're comfortable as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ray for Australia. I am. Oh, yeah. I am. Yeah. Alfredo, yeah. ready? Dude, I'm <laughs> uh, excited. I get to watch everything. You're from excited that you don't have base. to put up with us. Yeah, for dude, a week. you and Gavin. You and Gavin. <laughs> Alfredo, oh, that's true. Just know if we come back and our shit's not back to normal, we're going to blame you. So, Jack will. Dude, I'm team. gonna tell you, there's one person in this room who's gonna go off on you when anything goes wrong. What? Jeff. Oh, Jeff right now. Jeff would never go off on anybody about anything. Yeah. Jeff would? Yes! Uh, Are you kidding me? Jeff well, even, hates his stuff. Even the other day was just like, Ryan walks in and he's like, Alright, motherfucker, how do I get my map? How do I get oh, my map yeah. going? How does this work? But I was like, I need, I need to either get it from you, or I need to get it from... Gavin, or I need to get it from the fat one. I need to decide who is it. Like he was, he was losing it. I was like Jeff. Like I was like, God, he left me out of that. And then Ryan came over and he's like, hit the two button, and then like it went over to the thing. He's like, I hit the two button. I swear I hit the two button. What? Yeah. It yeah. was uh, he was in top form there that morning. Yesterday yeah. was a great he Jeff day. Form. He just fired right in. Jeff walked in the room. I was already, I was the first one in there. In like a sitting there, I was playing whatever. Jeff walked in. He goes. Why me? Why me? Oh, with like, like the tacos? Yeah, and I was like, what? And he's like, I tried to be nice. I bought tacos for everybody. He was walking in with a bag of tacos. The bag ripped. <laughs> all the tacos <laughs> fell out all over the ground. <laughs> hey, those were some good they floor tacos. They were fine. They were good tacos. They were, they were wrapped, wrapped in foil. Yeah. I ate the floor taco and it was delicious. Dude, like, hell, of a, hell of a bean Enjoy the cheese. hell out of that. I mean, hallway floor or hallway? Who cares? Our room floor. It doesn't matter. They were wrapped. I mean, it's wrapped. Nothing was that bad. Drop it on AIDS floor, I'll eat it. Who cares? It's, it's right. fucking wrap, man. I don't care. Sprinkle the, it around. Doesn't get a lot of pushes on the elevator, old AIDS floor. Yeah, oxygen will kill it. You know, it's just like the, sh the shelf life on it's so short. I didn't know how janky Jeff's setup was until Janky Jeff, that's what yeah, they call janky him. Jeff. Until, janky until Jeff. Jack came in, Jack was like, yo, we'll check something out. It's really cool. And he like actually set up Jeff's setup real nice and neat. But he had a Mac desktop hooked up to an iMac. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the crew. Had four computers. We've discussed this yeah, many Jeff, times. One of which was only a monitor. Yeah. yeah. The iMac was just a monitor. It's just a monitor. It well, never I mean, got to live its life as a computer. It was just a monitor. <laughs> also, did we move it off the floor? Because it's like no, it's still it's, it's very right much in under where way. we shoot the arrows to do the you know, TV. Do you know how many times I've walked by and it almost <laughs> kicked it or something because it's in the corner where we just put trash? I mean, I mean, like just just get rid, rid of it. 
Yeah. Fucking throw it out it of the room. It needs to leave. I, but I, in the morning, it will get thrown out I mean, of the room. I mean, just have Jeff fucking take it home. Who cares? Yeah, just fucking is. take it. Who gives a shit? Yeah, that was a scary day because uh, it it's was not like, his, we, the tech's gonna like, take it and throw it in the fucking trash. Yeah, and what the fuck are they gonna do with it? And we, we're like, like, fuck this. Jeff oh, hates fuck this his iMac. stuff messed with, and I was like, listen, we have four K monitors. I can set up your desk like this. I can, you know, where you're gonna lose one monitor, but you're gonna have a four K monitor now. It'll all be like all your shit will still work. You still have your Mac. And he's like, okay, as long as I have my Mac. I'm like, okay, all right. And I set it up, and I'm like, okay. And I like, I sent him photos, like literally the whole process. Like, this is okay. And he's like, yeah, it's fine. I was like, okay. <laughs> what a fucking so, pain in the ass. My but. favorite thing about transitioning to 4K happened to both Jeff and Michael. It's that going to that new resolution, everything gets <laughs> really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> so Michael trying to navigate the fucking Minecraft UI. Like Sky Factory is like yeah. the size of a fucking fingerprint. It's just yeah. like, what? It's like a postage stamp. I'm not fucking I'm kidding. I'm, I'm finally like, me in Sky Factory again. Oh yeah. It yeah. took, it took oh, yeah, two episodes, but I'm back oh, in my own sorry. body. Yeah. People were concerned. I am back in my own body now. Yeah. Apparently there's a chance that you, uh, you just lose everything. Yeah. yeah, oh no, there is, because uh, I did that at home. On my own personal um, Sky Factory thing. You know, switch. Gav and I, we started our life. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, Married so life. About yeah, that. it's yeah. kind of, uh, it's kind of, so far it's kind of working out for everybody. Oh yeah, there's a place uh, for really keeping yeah, it out of the way. Yeah, I don't want to like, get too far into it, but mm -hmm. I know it's in. I mean, it's in. Sky Factory is taking a episode. real, a real turn. Yeah. <laughs> you never know where it's going. Yeah, you don't know. You didn't know that Gavin and I. Went it was to going. Die. It was going. There was a goal in sight. We were heading there, and then a wedding <laughs> happened. <and Yeah. laughs> you didn't know that Gavin. Up. I didn't know that Gavin would propose and we'd get married, and, the thing and then is, we'd have to build a lad den to hang out in. It was like here was the goal. We started going like that instead of straight forward because it was like, yeah. well, Jack's still working. Toward the goal, and, and Jeff then has Jack had, discovered also, something, also, and now the whole thing. Yeah. Is <laughs> Jeff's well, never helped helped like, the goal ever. Yeah. Right? He just Jeff's off. He's off on his own. Chickens. Jeff has founded a new land. I've yeah. prepped well, everyone for Chaos Dragon, which is sort of our ultimate goal. So listen, everyone is listen. Much that's prepped that's prepped listen. Close. I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm doing uh, the magic. I'm doing that and that. Okay, now I'm married and I have to build a home. That's fine. <laughs> but as I said in the last episode, as I'm like hanging paintings, I'm like, you let me know. We're fighting that dragon. I'll come fight the dragon. And until yeah. then, so, I gotta get this so place, this place fucking decorated. Up, okay. We gotta get beds, we gotta get like a computer station over here, we yeah, got a kitchen to build. In. We gotta keep in mind though, so we do have all of the Draconic armor at this point, right? right and yeah. the last episode they saw Jack made no, it not up. upgraded. That sounds Not badass. upgraded. So it's just base Draconic armor, right? Not as bad as Pretty much, if, if you get caught in like the hail fire of the Chaos Dragon, because he's, you know the Ender Dragon, he like shoots a fireball. He and causes. Out of, the out of his nose? The, the Chaos Dragon, Really gods. Super he gods. He oh, shoots yeah. like 50 at once. And, and they just like, brrr, follow you. And they, and they track you. And hit you and explode. So if you get hit by one, you're probably going to get hit by like 10. And that will you just kill caught, you instantly. Yeah. You're just dead. Jesus. Especially like at, without fully up. If you fully so upgrade, upgraded, yeah. you might be able to get caught in it and not die. Like maybe. But um, Also for some yeah. reason I can't get wireless charging to work for anybody but myself. No, I know, you've been yeah. yelling about it. No, you know what, we need. We all need batteries and upgrade them. Is what uh, the, the one I've got, I've got yeah. it set up so that mine is, is pulling pa uh, power from our base. I would say instantly. from where we are, probably like two more episodes will be good. Just yeah, so that means, pro pro that means probably like With six of us, it probably won't be too like bad. Because really you know how there's right like now. six pillars on an Ender Dragon, on you blow ass. up the... You don't play Minecraft. Do you play Minecraft? Don't look at him. So, in the end, you fight the dragon, and we forgot. And there's like six pillars, you blow up the things. Or eight pillars, you blow up the things, and then you can hurt him. The Chaos Dragon has about 20, 25 of them. And half of them are in cages. So you have to fly up to them and break it, and then shoot And I think they can regenerate. And they can regenerate, yeah. yes. Um, so, but if you kill him, then you can dig down into the island, take the chaos shard, and then the entire island explodes. And you need that. What? You need a lot of those too. Yeah. And you chaos. need a good amount of them. So it's like, oh, you gotta, should we do two teams? Two teams of chaos dragon take fighters. Take out two at one time. We could. We could try. The three. I mean, I, uh, I've killed. Basically, one you have to get right to the end. One I've, person I've has to go it. ten thousand oh, okay. blocks this way. The other person has to go ten thousand blocks that way. All of a sudden, turn to the movie The Core, where you're just trying to get to the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, but then you break it, and then everything starts to shake. And you're like, I gotta get out of here. I'm dead. It will just kill you if you're near it. Oh yeah, the, the whole island explodes. And the goal is to make a draconic generator, which is this big generator with a spinning nuclear reactor. If that thing goes off, it's it's the end. It will destroy everything we've ever. Define goes off. 
Uh, if melts you, down. If it has a meltdown, how if you do, do you, it wrong. How do you, don't do that. Yeah, yeah and, and if it's it does that, it will destroy everything we've ever built, and even if you're in creative, it kills you. God. Well, don't do that. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Don't yeah. do that. Pretty cool. That'll end the whole series. Yeah. It will end everything <laughs> that is happening. Do you know how much time, time I, one way or yeah, All of 2017 but, will be gone. Not when I'm, wise. I mean, I'm just concerned about We'll be back to Achievement City. No, Achievement City's gone, too, so. Achievement City's pretty much gone. It got blown up by a different kind of reactor. Wow. Maybe it'll come back someday. Wow, in spirit. Sounds fun. How do you I respawn mean, the Chaos Dragon? You just go. You, you don't respawn him. It's just you have to go to a different Oh, there's point. multiple ones. So it's like a coordinates oh. 0 and 10,000 is a, is a dragon. Like 0, negative 10,000 is a dragon. 10,000, 0 is a dragon. Ten, ten, okay. And, and then like, every 10,000 past that. Is and every 10,000 past that is a dragon, but it's stronger. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, I really? took on a twenty thousand dragon. It wasn't that much. So harder. they just get exponentially. Ryan stronger. doesn't yeah. seem to give a fuck. Is what I'm learning. If you have fully upgraded, I mean, I took out one by I'm myself. Just saying, you just have fully Come get me from the lads, Dan. I'll be also, in the bomb. Ideally, now I'll you can put an enchantment on all of your draconic armor and your weapons called Soulbind. If you die, you keep it. There's also a so you don't ring, lose it. and I need to look up. I've got one at home. I, I got one. It it's not that impressive. Different kind of ring. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that ring lets you keep your, your wealth forever. This yeah. ring lets you keep all your shit. Yeah. It's oh, just wow. like a single item. If you have it, all you can do is We should try and get that. Oh, wow. uh, I don't know those. if you can make them. It may just be something you find. Oh, well, let's find oh, them and find them. them to me. There's a quest. Look, there's a... A new village. There's a village. Oh. I don't know what we're looking at here. What, uh, Why are we looking at that? That yeah, is Minecraft. Is oh, there's a reactor. I bet it's about to oh, go. Oh, yeah. shit. Yep. There's a reactor. Uh, and then the server ended. Well, I mean, yeah, you don't want to give it killed, killed the whole oh, video. You still oh, the poor Sarah Connor. Oh, Sarah Connor. Oh, no. Oh, it wiped out the mountains. Yeah. It, don't do that. Okay, all of reality gone. Wow. All gone. So it's an extinction level event. Dude, I'll be, honestly, I might be a little Jeffy. If that happens, you know how Jeff freaked out when you mm. set wood on fire. Yeah, I feel like his reaction would be appropriate for that. If you blew the world up in a meltdown, well, I think he feels like he's probably safe. I mean, if he thinks he is, he's wrong. Yeah. He's on a land. He's moved. He's moved. It's all good. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel it. This table is coming to an end. Well, yeah. I mean, soon. I mean, hopefully. In Otherwise, minutes, what a probably. what a waste of fucking uh, time. To uh, broken Tony on Twitter. Yes, Mark Henry has very close to a callous bod. Uh, Mark Henry. Mark Henry lives here in Austin. No way, mm -hmm. Mark. Does Wait, he really? What? Yeah. Mark Henry, yeah, dude. He definitely the has world cow, strongest yeah. man. WWE. God damn. Like cow's world bod. champion twice, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe hell. that's kind of not he should body. be sure that's kind of, I, I'd count that as Cal. Dude, he gives you a world's strongest slam. You're not getting up. No, you're done. I know that. What was it? We uh, have another one of these. Do it. Goldberg was an episode in an episode of The Flash lately. I was Goldberg. Flash? Yeah. Flash. yeah, Goldberg was there. Oh man, look at him. That's uh, that's Cal's bot. Sure. Cal's yeah. Yeah. He's How, pretty. That's I would not say, like if anything, the only thing muscle maybe bot. not callous like is he's probably taller than, than Mark Henry's a big dude. He looks like a big, he's huge. big fucking guy. He does Unless, this kind of shit where he like pulls trucks and shit. If he, he doesn't. If he takes issue with that description, then he totally doesn't have a callous bot. He looks great. However, he chooses. He to fluctuates. Be yeah. There's a couple of wrestlers that like. There's a couple of wrestlers that really. I'm fluctuate gonna start on pulling out from the the parking um, lot. All of a sudden, my car is gonna come off the ground. Let <laughs> 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 walk away with it. Goddamn, uh, Paul White or uh, Big Show. That's, oh, yeah. that's their name, right? Big Show. Yeah. Huge guy. He's big. like six. He's is like there a little you, show too? you better be big. He's like six nine show. or something. He, that's I thought he's bigger than that. I, well, I all right. Wrestling always something. builds. He's, people. he's twelve feet tall. The wrestling always builds people mm -hmm. way taller than they actually are. But, really? But, yeah, they do. Oh. And like he's six Ryan's eleven is disgusting. Six oh. eleven, like which I don't know if that's Jeremy what they said say in WWE or. But hey, like front to back, he's actually five foot nine. But like so, huge shoot. And the thing is, at one point, that shows him seven. It's the ring that shows him seven. He's getting so, bigger, Jack. Stop he's looking. Getting bigger. He's gonna be seven five. You're gonna make him blow up. So actually, like as he in his wrestling career, at one point WWE was like, "Yeah, um, you like you can't wrestle anymore. You gotta go lose weight." Like, oh, they, like he was uh, unhealthily getting overweight, and, they, and like they made him stop. And he like went and he lost a shit ton of weight, and he had like abs like at that size. Like he was giant, but had abs. And they were like, "All right, yeah, you can come back. Like that yeah. works." <laughs> it's just like. To see someone That'll like do. that size get in that kind of shape is like insane. But yeah, there's there's a bunch of people like in wrestling, mm -hmm. obviously, that are like beyond enormous in how big they are. Big show is huge. Sure. Great Kali was the big dude in did you ever see the Adam Sandler version of Longest Yard? Yes. Yeah. Like Great Kali was the dude who was like locked oh, in yeah, the yeah, cell yeah, yeah. and he was like 
he had like the really deep voice and stuff. Mm -hmm. He's a massive human. He's actually like seven. They one greased or up guys. And rolling around. They do grease up. Yeah. yeah. You, grease gotta, up, you gotta man. get that yeah. sheen. I, mean, I feel like if you're that big, your career options are sort of limited anyway. It's, it's like true. You, should, yeah. do you play basketball or be a wrestler. You don't want to have a day job where you're sitting in a desk chair that you just crush. Yeah. 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 yeah no one's gonna like yeah. uh, Mark Mark Galloway or or Calloway, sorry, uh Undertaker. He like he used to be like a a loan shark type of guy. <laughs> like, I mean, that was his job. I mean, There's Kali. That's I mean, great Kali. That Look how so. giant he is. If you're that guy, <laughs> in, uh, if you sit down... football. Yeah, They'll put yeah, you on the you field. Do yeah. thing. That's like, a Goldberg yeah. day. Goldberg you're working in an office. Yeah, you sit right, down yeah. in a cubicle. Right. Your head is six right. feet above You, you don't want to be working on, like, customer service. No. That guy was a wide receiver. He just throw over everybody. just let him catch the ball and just walk it. And that's the thing about... Two people tackle him down. You can't be that fast. He doesn't have to be. He's like, shit. I guess not. I mean, the so you put him in, he more, gets five yeah. yards. Yeah. yeah. Fuck five Tanks yards. We need, fast, we need more wide great. receivers that just brush off men. Yeah. yeah. You know? He's like, <laughs> I have the ball. I mean, then like right. three people are just hanging on to him. The guy's just walking down. The <laughs> Give it everything we've got. <laughs> I mean, that was Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal would just post up under, like, under the yeah. hoop, and they just and throw just, it over everybody. I was always just like, put it in the bag. Diesel, man. Dude, and the thing is, like, you see, like, a normal human being get inside goalie gear. And they're yeah. fucking huge because yeah, yeah. like, I've always like get a fucking sumo wrestler, <laughs> yeah. put him in goalie gear, just wedge him in. He'll never score. That's <laughs> true. The guy, like all the guy needs is like meat tank. Is like a six couple inches. inches. It's just yeah. a couple yeah. inches yeah. in each direction. There's got to be like a rule against that. Or I, I mean, who knows? You get fat, you get fat enough to where you just sit down in front of him and go. Oh. Dude, <laughs> like, oh. You see the night. guy just sitting there oh. eating. Like, what are you doing? He's like. Oh. Training. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a professional athlete. They just oh. fucking roll the guy out in front of the goalie, you know, and he's like, "Come at me, dude." And on the on the flip side of it, like, what, like, what a weird were... episode of my 600 pound life, <laughs> right, dude? Yeah. If you were that guy, that'd be amazing. You're successful. Uh, on the flip side of the things I was talking about with like people losing a shit ton of weight and like wrestling and stuff like that, just to get back into it. There's people who they change the way they look big time, and you're like, you there's. So many steroids in your body. You can tell, like, by looking oh. at some people. There's this guy in wrestling called Jinder Mahal, who used to be like this skinny nobody in it. Like, not not even skinny. He just was like, he was normal. Like, he was someone if you saw on the street, you're like, that guy's in good shape. You right. know what I mean? Not like, a pro not, wrestler. Not a, exactly, not a pro wrestler. wrestler. Yeah. He came back out of nowhere and was just insane. Lightning it was like, one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Is like he came back, didn't even look like him. It was like. The type of thing where it was like this, a carrot top. It was like it looked like the skin was like pulled over muscles. Oh, and like you could see the veins and shit. You could probably find a before and after on Jinder Mahal, and it's just like fucking Christ. That it's juice like, straight to the dude, buttocks. Dude, that's like, how I feel. Yeah, like, exactly. Again, you yeah. talk about wrestling and uh, The Rock. You know, big dude. You know, wrestler, mm -hmm. whatever. I, you know, gotten bigger over the years. He's gotten way bigger. I saw. A couple weeks ago, it was on TV. I was just like flipping through channels. Uh, Get Smart with Steve Carell. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't and that. He's, yeah. and, the and The Rock's in that. He's like, I was like, oh my god, he looks like such a normal person. Look at this. Look at his like, debut in like, wrestling. Like, I mean, tiny. I mean, like even wrestling. Like yeah, wrestling's like forever ago. Right. He's tiny. Look at Jinder. Look at him. Yeah, that's uh, holy Fucking shit. Hell. Uh, you gotta be honest. I was expecting someone that was actually Ginger. Gender. 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 <laughs> he's, he's Indian. Gender. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Gender. Yeah. Well, gender Mahal is an Indian. Was weirder if he was a ginger and yeah. an Indian. I assume that's not common. Yeah. So we really unlike the phenotype. Um, sure. But like, so like, you, you can go rock early in his wrestling career. That's not that crazy to me. What's crazy to me is post-wrestling career. In like film now. Yeah, yeah. There's still like the rock then and then the rock in like Fast Five on, where it's like, oh my God, does it hurt to breathe? Like, look at you. It's insane. He I'm looks like, like he shirt. looks like bolt like boulders. You know, like someone took a bunch of rocks and literally put them together, he's, and he's like, he's an Rah. insane human. He, he was looks, willing. He was willing to do the work that kind of funny wasn't. <laughs> yeah. He was. He. It just. It looks like being him would hurt. And then, like, every single fucking scene of anything ever, he's just sweating. And he's just, like, wet. And, like, I, just, is, yeah. I imagine he breathes and, like, just sweat pours out of him. His body's I, like, dude, like, holy have shit. Have you seen when he I has, like, punch his... him and your hand would break. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen, like, his cheat meals? No. He, like, you know, he eats super healthy and everything. Just, like, chicken and veggies, and that's it. 
Right, you just eat like, but it's like a, like eight chickens. I imagine, right? Yeah. Like, like, like they're live chickens. Yeah, he just eats them. them, and then yeah. like he goes and works out. Uh -huh. I've seen videos of him working out, and he just, just he yells late. focus a lot. The fucking cables are just he's like screaming. he goes focus, focus. That's what he does. That's how he works out. And then fucking like in hell, um, then he has like a cheat meal once, like maybe once a month, or I don't even know if it's more often than that. But it's like it's like. Five pizzas I've seen, like, stacks and of yeah, like one of the like, things he has, I think, is like <laughs> uh, a bunch of French toast laid out, and then like a whole apple pie on top of it, <laughs> and he just eats it. He, he must like, live he his life the whole for thing. that one day. Yeah, right? it, like, because he can eat the whole thing because it's like that's ah, burned off the next day. God, when he like lifts eighteen buildings. It's just like it's just again. He's so jacked. Like yeah. it, I imagine someone's like, "Hey, Dwayne." He's like, "What's up?" <laughs> I, I, <sighs> like because I used to be so into wrestling and know a lot about it. It's like I lived in a world of watching people like that that were just like, "Your life must be hell." Yeah, you know, like The Rock was like that. Watching him, John Cena's like that. Yep. Like John Cena was like going shop. I saw a video of him like food shopping, and it was like. All right, pick up like twelve cartons of eggs. Here's like a couple gallons of milk. Like yeah, imagine that's like the whole Chris thing. Evans too. Like at this point, oh still, yeah, like, exactly. Captain America, and he's just like motherfucker. It'll be over one day. <laughs> <laughs> over one day. Like, <laughs> I, I just want to be a human again. There was a I'm guy who came human, in, please. And the thing is, it doesn't please work. kill me. In some it doesn't war. work anymore. Please kill, yeah, please kill, <laughs> kill me, yeah. kill me, please, kill Captain America. In, uh, in wrestling, it used to work to be just a giant thing. Yup. And people would be like, "Yep, you're good." You're like big. Andre the Giant. Yup. Like, well, Andre the Giant was athletic was looking at all. Dude, like, like and saggy tits. Who cares? Right. And like big, then dude. it slowly became a thing of like, yeah, you gotta kind of be a big dude, yep. but you gotta have like this crazy character. To you, that's why like Randy Savage works so well because he was, oh yeah, yeah, he was like all nuts and everything. Nowhere. Hogan was like like that. The Rock, that's why he survived Rick so long. Ric Flair, Ric Flair, Stone Cold, they all lived like that. It's like then you have new wrestlers coming in. There's a guy named Ryback that came in for a uh, while. Do you know Ryback? Yeah. yeah, Ryback was like this dude that was just like he was, he was like a muscle with a mouth. It's all he was. He was just one giant muscle, like almost dead. <laughs> right, he was just like. That was a mark with the mouth. Yeah, but he was like, almost. he was the kind of guy that it looked like it was pain to live. Oof. Right? Like, like that muscular. Man, like, yeah. oh, exactly. Oh, like man. anytime you thought he talked, like, oh. oh, sorry, I was just breathing. There was like several weeks in a row that he showed up. <laughs> And his eye was half of it was red. Oh, oh my god! Half of his eye was red, definitely just from like trying to lift something and being like, Aah! you know what I mean? Like, was and, it his eyelid? Is that what he was no, trying to like? No, like his eyeball. like the inside, the, the, the right, white part of his eye was red. Like. Yeah, look up Ryback. Look up right, Ryback yeah. eye. And, oh, if you look up Ryback eye, it'll be the bloodshot. That was Ryback like, spell. That sounds like a R R Y and then back. Got it. Ryback sounds like a villain in Destiny. <laughs> like, we have yeah. to go after Ryback. And to be fair, that you're Callus. saying that damn good wrestling name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his, his, I mean, if you want to sound like a villain, wrestling's where you want to uh, be. His yeah. fucking tagline. There he is on a transparent background. If you want to just oh, yeah, drop yeah. him his in. His tagline: Feed me more. Ah. He would go feed me more, and he'd walk in. And like right. the thing is, Did that's just not gonna do it. It was like, yeah, he's a big guy, he's tough and stuff he's like that. Six, but there three, was no character pounds. to it, you know. And that's what people want nowadays. You have to be big, you have to be scary, and you have to have a character, and you have to not break it. That's a tough thing for wrestlers. Is like, you can't, you can't outside look, of they work. can't see you're human. Yeah, there's yeah. like some big dude right now. He's like seven feet tall or whatever, some huge dude. But he's like the dumbest idiot. Like he's like a dumb, funny idiot. So you know, he's constantly he's like, that he had like a Tinder account. He was like, hey, I'm going to pop over. And it's like him like lifting people up and be like, look at this person. And, like, <laughs> and, and they were like, you got to stop doing that. Like, he, like, he was like dressed as Wonder Woman or something at like a Halloween party. And they're That's like, awesome. you're supposed to be a villain. You're supposed to be scary. And he's just like the nicest I guy. I kind of like that. He's like off the clock. Like, it yeah. won't work out for him. I, 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 can't, I appreciate that. I can't that. remember his name off the top of my head. Do you right think now, Rey Mysterio but... ever took off that mask? No. He, uh, right. yeah, like not all really. 50 no, of them, like, like, there had to be multiple guys. Dude, right? Ray Mysterio like, is even a thing because it's like Ray is like you yeah, knew looking at him like that's Ray Mysterio because it still showed this mm -hmm. and his eyes. 
You'd be like, Who's if Rey it was Mysterio? someone, he's a wrestler. He's a wrestler. Okay. He's yeah, like well, a, he's like like a luchador mask. Yeah, he's like he's five. Like, six. He's like a tiny guy, but uh, super uh, acrobatic, he's super flippy. He'll yeah. flip yeah. around you, gotcha. flip all okay. over the place. So they were like Ray Mysterio. It's like you knew it was Ray Mysterio because he had like the. You could tell by looking at him. Like kind of Remy Timmy almost. And he was like covered. Is he the one that got unmasked or like? Like he had his mask his taken mask off, off at one point, but then like never after that because that's like a huge disgrace to luchadors, you know, to get your mask taken off. But there was another guy that came in named Sin Cara, and he has been like three different people since he's been there. He's the one that the Remy Tim mask is based off of. Like he that Does mask he keep is reinventing Sin Cara's himself. Mask. So no, like they just Magneto? keep getting a different That's person. They're like, this is Sin Cara now. I swear it's been this guy the whole time. It's like, no, it's not. Like, he actually looks totally guy's black the now. Right. <laughs> they switch out who's playing yeah, the, him. There the was act, even a he part. He keeps getting recast. Uh-huh, yes, there was a storyline. Like Game of Thrones. Wrestling speak. <laughs> yeah. There was a storyline where it was Sin Cara versus Sin Cara Negra, which was the black one. He had black uh, like stuff on. I made it up. I, and just, they, I made that no, up. No, literally that's said. what it was. And they fought, <laughs> and then they unmasked Sin Cara Negra. And oh. they're like, it's not you anymore, I'm the real Sin Cara. And then that guy quit, and they made the guy who was the imposter the real Sin Cara. Ah. Yeah. Oh, and I was wait, like, oh my god, is, like Jesus mind. Christ. I can't wait till they add the Infinity Stones. <laughs> You're right, yeah. the whole fucking thing, so. Very was it Rey Mysterio Jr. Lives. too? Was it Jr. or no? Well, Rey Mysterio Jr. is, yeah, yeah, yeah he's Rey Mysterio Jr. And I think his, yeah, he's Jr. I think. Right, like the main dude is Junior. Right? Yeah, Rey Mysterio Junior is the main. How dude. many generations of Rey Mysterios are there? He has a son, but I don't think his name is Rey. I think it's something. I don't know. He's, he's kid. Junior. There's Sincara versus Sincara Negra. Damn. <laughs> there they are. Ooh. There they are. Yeah. The showdown. So that guy's actually a wrestler named Unico, and then he, I think, became. How him. does he even see? Man, I know, That's... right? Hey, yeah, even my mask, the Remy Tim mask, yeah. it has the eye holes, but like. The one in the game doesn't. The one in the game Damn, is just dude. like that, but purple Damn. instead of blue. Rey Mysterio was always cool. Not a big wrestling person. He was I awesome. Was, I was he like, was it was just awesome. like for like a little dude, six, one, both short and like he was the champion, was, like muscular. He was a fucking right. tiny dude. Yep. He'd always be like, I'll flip around, I'll swing around your neck and shit. He was the champion of having a finishing move that made no sense and clearly would never hurt anyone ever, but it looked cool. So they're like, this is his finish. If you get hit by this, you're done. It's like, no, you're not. It doesn't look bad at all. He used to throw people down. So they were hanging on the middle rope. Like the rope was like oh, this. The 619. Like the 619. Yep. And then he'd run up and he'd grab the top rope. Booyaka, booyaka, 619. And he'd swing his legs around and hit them in the head. Like, and it would be like, oh, he hit them in the head with his shins. They're fucking out. And it's like, he was going like half a mile an hour. Like, they, <laughs> like clearly like a, that didn't hurt. Like and they get hit in the head and they go, <laughs> and then they fall on the ground. I love, I love the like DBZ like uh, fanfare of wrestling. It's like this is the finishing move. Like this, <laughs> this, this hit. Listen, final listen, flash. Listen, you can get, you can get punched in the face. It is the final flash of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, but no one ever gets finished. You by can the get, I guess you that get punched in the face fifty times. Ain't no thing. No, if you get hit with a finishing. You get hit with a fucking attitude done. adjustment from John Cena. You are done. The, or the best one, the people's elbow from oh, The Rock, oh, which is literally that just that an elbow to like, your chest. Yeah, but it's got the entire strength of all of the people behind it. It's got the entire strength of all his running back and ass. You see the audience going like this, and you, then you realize like that's where all his powers come right, from. Right, exactly. It is the spirit bomb the of life. Elbows, it really exactly is exactly what it is. I but, did uh, enjoy Goldberg just coming in, spearing someone, and the match was done. At that's least the I, spear looked painful. That it's like, was like, like, you got hit by Goldberg, like going like. I always oh, loved too suck. how like they'd be get, they'd be knocked Goldberg out. Goldberg was in longest yard too. Up. He was bald and had a goatee. Yeah, white. Yeah, that's Goldberg. They'd have their back turns and be getting up and be like, oh no, it's gonna happen! Don't turn around. <laughs> he turns around. Like, oh. Goldberg's there. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. He's just there, just like. For how like, cool damn. he was, was very boring because I think that he won like 300 matches in a row yeah. without losing. He's a fucking legend. Yeah. Because he's a legend. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, it the was so mind boggling. The strength that he had, the, what was, I, it, the, the, jack, the, was it the jackknife? The jackhammer. The jackhammer. We would just take the like the largest dudes. He did it to Big Show. Yeah, and he just lifts them up straight up into the air, and then it's like bam. He did it to Big Show. Weighs like, like five hundred pounds. He is really strong. Yeah, but at oh, the same that's, time, that's the like, thing about wrestling. Like, he's like obviously, strong like, and athletic. It's hard as fuck. You yes. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like physically. I mean, they literally bleed. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's like, fucking exerting. Physically and just like uh like the energy, like like the not just the physical strength, but like the maneuverability. People like Rey Mysterio and shit. Oh yeah. And just like the cardio. Even if you're just like picking a dude picking a dude up, but like 
five minutes of that shit is like exhausting. Yeah. So it's like obviously it's it's physical work. They're like entertainers, they're performers and shit like that. But it always blew my mind even as a kid because like I feel like me as a kid in the '90s, the '90s was like the age where it's like guys, it's official. Wrestling's fake and like yeah, yeah, people yeah. being up in arms about it. And I have to be like, are you? Are you a fucking idiot? Yeah, like, clearly it's <laughs> like, 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 I'm gonna say what fake. What were you watching? Like, like, you know, we're gonna fake like it's a fucking soap opera of like a bunch of crazy talented athletes. Yes, yes it's still entertaining as shit. Yeah, you, they know but who's like, gonna win. The they know people the story, that are like, fine. it's real. It's a fight to the death. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, are you not seeing their foot stomp every time they like? Right, like, 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 like or like when they who slap ever them? thought it was real? <laughs> like, I don't understand that. They will actually slap each other sometimes, but watch their chest because they slap their own chest. I mean, again, it's just the, the idea of like a, like an action movie. Like that guy got beat in the face for nine minutes, and then at the end, it's like like fucking Hulk Hogan. It's like he's he's entered Hulkamania. Like I'm invincible. <laughs> Hulk Hogan was by far the most unbelievable. <laughs> I think it was just like he, bullets are bouncing off of him. We're just okay. shooting him, and he's still coming. Actually, it's I like, take that back. This is Hulk real. Hogan was this not the most real. unbelievable. The most unbelievable <laughs> was this goddamn Randy Savage. Randy Savage <laughs> had a flying elbow that would that was his finisher, but if he used it on an ally, it would bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> he would and elbow he, drop people and they would get like Hogan. He elbow <laughs> dropped Hogan and Hogan got back up and he's like, I'm good now. And he, I like, got a healing spell coming in, brother. <laughs> <laughs> literally what it was. Snap back into action. <laughs> and like they, they had a ton of shit that was like <laughs> it was so, so ridiculous. You often see how far they'll push the boundary. They had a guy named the Boogeyman for a while. Yeah. Do you remember Boogeyman? Remember Boogeyman. Boogeyman would eat worms. Yep. He would fucking. What? He would. Why? They would. <laughs> they would play music. Tick -a -tick -a -pull. I'm the Boogeyman, and he would crawl out on all fours. Right. He had his face all painted. Dude, crawling out in worms already makes me think of night crawlers. Right. He would crawl, <laughs> he would crawl out. Right. And he had a big staff. Crawlers. He had a big staff and a clock, and he would stand up in the smoke, and he'd smash the clock on his head, and he'd be like. He smashed the clock on his head. He's got glass in his forehead, and like, <laughs> like and then he'd walk down, and he'd, and he'd go into the ring, and he'd grab a bag, and he'd pull in a bunch of earthworms, and he'd eat them. He'd go. <laughs> And that was it. I would not want to eat a bunch of worms before doing a lot yeah, of Yeah, but at the same time, but he did fucking it. protein though. Mm. That was the boogeyman. He went right to his fucking arms. Uh, they, I mean, there's questionably worse. Rikishi. Oh, was it with that? Rikishi was, was awesome. He, 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 the he rubbed his asshole oh, in people's faces. He rubbed like, like, his look, asshole in people's faces. He'd get, he'd get you, and always be like, <laughs> "Excuse me, the, the move and then he'd get you." The move is called the stink face. The stink face, yeah. Okay. He, <laughs> At Rikishi, least they gave it a Rikishi, dignified Rikishi, name. He a big boy. He a real big boy. And uh, his he had a lot of his ass. outfit, his, yeah. his yeah. outfit was like a fucking thong. The six pack on Big Show. Look at the six pack on Big Show. Find, find a fucking. Find a shot of Rikishi doing the stink. Yeah, can you find Rikishi doing the stink face for us? Amazing. Uh, it's one of the things that makes me want to watch wrestling. I just can't like get into the lore of it. But like, I love that aspect. I'm telling of you it. right now, the, if like, you watch wrestling opera, right now, it's nothing like just that. Just nonsense. I wish it was. You've you know? it, it's like, gone. Take it over the top. Mm -hmm. No way. Dude, and how, how, like, how a girl coming like, in, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. clap. And then, again, this is like when I watch bits and pieces of it again, all I think of a wrestling is like, the behind the scenes backstage, like, oh, this is totally real. We got I, see, I hear them laughing. They and must have like, the stink face. It's like fucking, you know, uh, oh, Vince, yeah, Vince McMahon it. being like, all right, we gotta get somebody. We're gonna, all right, we're, you're gonna double cross. We're chasing the stink face it's tribute. We're oh, oh, stink face him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. He just he I, rubs the worst their face yeah. in his ass. Yeah, he did it. Was did, that a girl? Yeah, he did it to yep. a bunch of women too. I mean, so, equal opportunity. Yeah. So, I mean, Rikishi, dude, Rikishi. 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 here's the thing: Rikishi is part of this family. There's this family in wrestling. <laughs> it's a bunch of Samoan people that are like all wrestlers. The Rock is part of the family. Rikishi, they're like cousins. Rikishi and The Rock. Okay, this is like real family. Like real Not family like in real life. Family. Yeah, okay. yeah. Rikishi and okay. The Rock are both in it. Um, there was a guy. They went very different directions. They, they, did. Body yeah, they did. Do you think they had a conversation beforehand, and the Rock was like, "I'll do the stink face," and yeah. she's like, "No, I'll do it," and he was like, "All right." There was a guy named <laughs> No, uh, the Rock. Could have been. Can you imagine? Umaga, this Umaga is a was one that was in it. Like, so Umaga was this big giant. He looked like Rikishi. He's a big giant dude. There was uh, a group way back when called the Wild Samoans. I don't know if you remember them. They were like way back when. And how, how far back? Way back, damn, then. and they were a part of this family too. So there's this one lineage of just 
cousins and shit that all went into wrestling and they all became like big name people. And like obviously The and Rock big. was like the most successful of them. Right, yeah. <laughs> right, but like big Rikishi people, in there. Names. And then Rikishi had two sons who are both now wrestlers called the Usos. Mm. And like, mm. it's just, it just keeps going. And it's really cool that like this one family from yeah. Samoa is like this big, like such a huge thing here in wrestling. I just imagine that during cool. the locker room, they just have to draw out of a hat. It's like, who's fighting Rikishi today? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's gonna get an ass? No! <laughs> It's like, I just fucking got Stinkface. Like, I just had it. Wait, wait, wait. wait to get If that you were off. in a storyline where you just fought, you were in a rivalry with Rikishi, <laughs> that would suck. You get Stinkface every goddamn week. You get Rikishi's ass in your face. Do you think that, like, again, the, obviously they were discussing before, and it's like, you washed, right? Like, you got up in there. He's like, oh, I, as it, much as he can no wash, way. walking no from way. that, like, walking that's to the it. stage, that's sweat ass. Yeah, face was nice. Like, 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 so so the size lights. were reaching yeah. may become a problem. I don't know how deep in there you're gonna get. those big brushes. Well, there. that's the thing. It's like oh. these big dudes, these dudes that are like 450 pounds, and they're like, oh, I'm gonna get in there and fight. Yeah, I'm an athlete. It's like, <laughs> you just don't know. I would never trust it. There's a guy named Vader. V A D E R. Vader. Vader was like, uh, literally, like 450 pounds or something oh. like that. And his finishing move a hockey goalie. was he'd put you down the corner on the floor, like just laying down. Sit he'd on you. stand up on the second rope, and he'd jump off and just fall on top of you. 450 pounds. He's I have to trust spine. this guy to catch Straight himself up. so he doesn't kill me. Yeah? Right? And he's just like, I'm Vader, though. I'm a pro wrestler. <laughs> One day that could be you. That could be me. Hopefully. I could be Vader. <laughs> like, you know, you you his body. And, get it. and that's the thing. There's Vader. Look at him. <laughs> that would fall on you. That would Vader time. Vader time. <laughs> that's what a singlet says. It's Vader time. <laughs> it's Vader time. He's gonna come. He's like, I'm crazy. Physical It's just a cannonball. Yeah, that dude's got a lot of upper body. A yeah. lot. Yeah. There's a whole lot there. He's a big. His dude. pecs are coming out the side of his shirt. <laughs> Yeah, pecs. <laughs> well, uh, listen, they're in that region. Fucking, like, like, nowadays, <laughs> okay. like, because the whole oh, big thing wrestling out. was, what's your finisher? That was a oh, whole dude, big yeah. thing. And it used to work where Randy's like, you jump off the top rope, you give him an elbow. They're dead. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes Hulk, you're alive again. <laughs> sometimes Hulk Hogan's was stupid. Oh, you be healed. Right. Hulk Hogan's was fucking stupid. It was a leg drop. You remember that? He would, no. like, just kind of drop his leg across their chest, and they did dead. Damn. You win. Look, you, you hit the chest. I just you remember I just the heart beat. Right. And then they, yeah. they're unconscious. It was just like that was the finisher. Now you've got to get into stuff where like, <laughs> what have we never seen before? What's new? There's uh, there's a guy called Finn Balor right now. His fucking move. I can't remember the name of it, but it's just fucking. He lays him on the ground in the fucked. middle of the ring. Like lays him on the ground. He yep, stands up on the top rope. Oh, he damn. jumps off. And he plants both feet on their chest. He just jumps off the top rope onto their chest. Not break ribs. And he has to like hit them and slide his feet off so he doesn't like bring his full weight down on their chest. You have to trust that guy to not crush that. your rib cage. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like fucking grease, insane Vaseline, the type of shit they do. Now. The and they're thing. like, yeah. that's a that's a cool move. I like that one. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. It's like that's gonna kill somebody. If he does that wrong, you're dead. You just gotta trust this guy. It's just like fucking hell nowadays but yeah i don't really watch wrestling anymore but i keep up with you it live in the past i keep sure. i keep up with it to a point yeah. I, I log on to wwe.com every now and again i'm like what's going on brock lesnar still a champion com. okay cool brock lesnar's still a big thing everyone loves brock fucking mma yeah, f5 MMA? for a bit wrestling well ufc right yeah, yeah. wrestling ufc times. Back to wrestling, had to get back into the groove of it, not punch someone to death, yeah. which he wants to do. Uh, who what does it? What was Brock's issue with the F5? The F5, dude. Yeah. Fucking <clears throat> hell. Brock's, a, Brock's like, no, that's a human I don't want to meet. You know what I mean? He, he like, his work, one of his workouts is to run like a mile into a wall. <laughs> yeah, through all yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He runs yeah. like a mile or two yeah. or some shit with a tree. He just carries what? a log on his back. And, and it's a runs. new tree every time. Yeah. Yeah. If you look yeah. out your window, your tree's gone. Oh, yeah. like, oh Brock. He's just, hey, he's Lester. A, he's a fucking animal. He's planted that. <laughs> this, this human being. <laughs> he's but, basically the opposite of that guy that planted a that's forest right. by himself. That's why he can earn like being a like a the the champion, but then showing up every like like once in every three weeks or so. It's fine. Because it's like, that's what are you gonna say? No? 
Fuck that. Guy will fucking throw the tree. Guy will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> He's always carrying a tree. You're like, nah, I'm don't ripping fuck in with half. Yeah. It's like an anime villain. Yeah. Yeah. He really is. He's a disturbing human. Michael, what what do you have in your hands right there? Oh, I have an ad read. Oh, uh, really? I was thinking of some like kind of segue with like uh, bald heads and wrestlers. It's up there somewhere. I'm not gonna make it, but you can try and figure it out. That's a true. A lot of them have their head shaved, like Jeremy. But Jeremy, you need to touch it up. You got. Hair I haven't. I back. meant to shave what this morning you, or bring a hat. And I didn't you're also need it. like sweating profusely because you're getting very passionate about wrestling. <laughs> the wrestle yeah. talk will do. It's I also for the longest time. Should I dab it's him? It's mostly yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'll take one of these. Go for it, Jeremy. While I do that, let me explain to you about Dollar Shave Club. You've heard me talk about the amazing shave I get from Dollar Shave Club razor, especially when I use it with the Dr. Carver Shave Butter. Well, I'm here to tell you I'm never giving up my membership. In fact, I'm adding even more Dollar Shave Club products to my daily routine. Dollar Shave Club makes products for your hair, face, skin, shower, everything you need. They have me looking and feeling amazing. I use Dollar Shave Club for just about everything. They got me covered head to toe, and it's all their own original stuff. They use only the finest premium ingredients and deliver it right to you. Now's a great time to give Dollar Shave Club a try. You can get your first month of their best razor along with travel size versions of shave butter, body cleanser, and yes, even butt wipes for just $5. After that, replacement cartridges ship for just a few bucks a month. It's the Dollar Shave Club starter kit. Get yours for just $5 exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash off topic. Shave your head. And, uh, maybe give someone and, the stink face. And your face. You know? <laughs> With a freshly shaved if, ass. Do, yeah. do, you, do you think, uh, Rikishi, use the butt wipes. Right. Then you go in. Be all cleaned up. That Dollar Shave okay. Club butt so wipe. So I can say, you said I haven't been doing this. Well, no, I mean, this I morning, see hair. Literally this morning, I like, when I came home from the gym, I was like, I either have to shave all of this, or well, I need to wear a hat. Well, you didn't do either. I forgot both. Okay. So, uh, so you know. but what I did do is I did clean up under here with ah. Dollar Shave Club. So this ah. is nice and smooth. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club. Dude, I got a head cut, not from Dollar Shave, because mm -hmm. I have hair, not mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, like a shaved head. Uh, got a haircut, got a, got a little shave. I'm nice. back. I'm like a. I'm like a. I'm back to small. I'm back to small. Boy. I'm like a peach right now. This cat loves this stage. Peach fuzz. Yeah. It's really fuzzy. It's, it's really it's, soft. It's weird. It. That is the weirdest feeling with hats, though. The peach fuzz yes. stage. When you put a hat on of any kind, it's like, oh, it feels weird. See, and I don't. It's I don't like, like this face because rub, this face is when rub it's, job. When any of my bald spots are most obvious, is this face? Because it's like you can see that right here. There's a lack of I mean, of it's, hair. it's probably not as bad as having long hair, though. Right there? That'd probably right be there. worse. I can see that. But also, but. it doesn't help when you point them out and say, here they are. I don't give a shit. That's why I shave my head. Ah. <laughs> like, that's literally why. It's because, like, I was looking at myself in, like, episodes of Off Topic and On the Spot, and so I'm like, I can see that bald spot right there. I don't <laughs> like that. I don't like that. So then I just shaved it, and I was like, I never have to worry about it again. It's all a bald Maybe bald it'll spot. just I didn't notice until now. start growing back. Now I know. Oh, I mean, he knows. He knows. No, it won't grow back. No, it's, it's over. It's it's only down. It's, it's far over. over. My dad still has a full fucking head of hair. That's kind of surprising. Yeah, that you losing your hair before your dad. My dad. My dad's did hair. You get it from your maternal grandfather. I, no, I did. Imagine. I did. My maternal grandfather. He oh. he was losing his hair. Dude, my grandfather is uh, late eighties. Still has hair. So I'm good. Oh yeah, yeah. nice. Well, I that's got the same hair as fuck through my if family. I'm good or not. My that's dad the same does thing. it. My brother, who's five years younger, he's thinning out. Oh, you're fucked. But I'm, I'm, He's five years younger. My dad's like older than me, I'm so I'm saying, like, "Man, but your brother? I don't know where I mean, that's. He's got the same yeah. shit as you, son. Well, he's a no, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's some weird yeah. slippage in there. There's some, there's some, some slippage. I didn't, <laughs> slippage. Yeah. I didn't meet him a bunch. Oh, I like my hair. But my paternal grandfather. Hey, enjoy it, buddy. Why you got it? <laughs> I can't like, enjoy so, it. Like the dual King side Grayer. of my family. My that happens like, too. My yeah. father's dad, and then my father, full head hair and everything. Didn't meet my uh, the Dooley grandfather very much because uh, so he died in a extremely Dooley fashion. Ah. He uh, fell off a bar stool. Mm. Champion. Ah. So How yeah, unto was death. Yeah, Just the head to yeah. the ground. He went. Yeah, heads exactly. Will, heads will he do went. it. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how old he was. I didn't meet him very much, so I couldn't really say. But like so, older when he died, or like he was, like, he was, he was a. I was alive at the time. Okay, but um, so it wasn't like forty, and he fell off a. Tree. No, 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 no. He, he, he was up. He was probably in his like sixties or something, sixties or seventies. Um, my, the maternal side of my family, <clears throat> fucking Christ, they just don't go. Same with like 
you know, and my my, my dad's mother, <laughs> my dad's mother's still kicking, and she's yeah. the she's can't the get, can't get rid of her. She's the you want to fight? Yeah, fight you? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. her. She's that's the, her. She's the one who's nuts. Ooh. She's the nuts Quote, one. Yeah. <laughs> when I met her, and she didn't recognize me, and I was like, "Hey, Mimi, how you doing?" And she's like, "What do you want to fight?" And I'm yeah. like, "No, whoa, I don't. Whoa, I don't. Calm where's down, the, where's the whiskey? Uh, All right, punch your balls. I'll have a shot. Yeah, I've got the alcohol. I'll take a shot with you. Yeah. Um, but no, like my my uh maternal uh. My great grandparents, they lived to like, uh, one was 89 and the other was 94. It's fucking up there. Yeah. Like, to live to the 90s is yeah. insane. My grandmother still. just turned 89. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And the crazy, yeah, the crazy uh, one's 89. She's feisty. Right? Yeah. She likes her wine. <laughs> yeah, she likes drinking. Don't yeah, take that away from her. My grandmother shows up and she's like, fucking give me it. Give me it. Glug, glug, glug. Mm -hmm. Apparently it works out really well to be a female in my mom's side of the family. My great grandmother lived to be 100 and some change. That's yeah. insane. And that's my that's my grandmother is, is still going strong. So yeah, that's crazy to me too. Like I said, like my grandmother's eighty nine, and like you know she's going a little bit, but ninety percent she's there. She just fucking that's old. crazy. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. but like I said, like the last time I saw her, I saw her at Christmas. It was last year, and like I joke because like, she loves fucking wine and shit, and I joked to her like I was like, oh hey granny. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you need wine, let me know. And she's like, oh, I'm good. And it's like, literally, she had one walking in the door. It's like, I'm going to get through, get out the way, sit down, someone bring me wine. All right, I'm good. Summon it. Exactly. Yep. It's like, she's like, I'll just chill here. I guess living long, like, she's sassy. It's, it's crazy how long we can get people to live nowadays. Like, it's just nuts. Like, even, even my grandparents would have gone. It was like, most of them was just because, like, what fell off the bar stool, one of them. Like, one of them fell down the stairs and, like, stuff like that. It's just like, Shit like that gets them, but yeah. it's not like old age. Yeah, There's my grandfather. Old, old age never kills anybody. Fucking falling like crazy. You always die of something, like heart disease, cancer. I guess like something. No, but people can pass away in their sleep. I guess it right? happens, but even then, it's usually from it's because something. of something. Uh, usually, it's a pillow over. Well, there. That was an interesting yeah. TED talk I saw a while back that someone said that they thought uh, there was already a person alive today that will not die of age-related uh, things. That the idea being like is medical science gets better. Like if they, like you get to like let's say we get to the point where it's like okay we can make you 110 pretty easily, and then as that goes on that gives you another 20 years where they're like all right now we can get you to 140, and then it's like eventually they'll just get further and further out to where you, just, you probably won't Could die. Be age be, it's, it's pretty nice. Probably, like, probably won't be. Definitely, <laughs> that won't, won't, that definitely will not be me. I'm aiming for you 40. Still have to if I can get through my 40s, I fucking. Blown all yeah, like maybe. all expectations. Jeremy's on the fucking Gusarola life plan. Oh yeah, yeah Gus has Absolutely. got like a year left to live. Two yeah, years, man. what? And then he's done. What? What year did he say he was going to die? I think forty. He forty. He said oh, I'm forty-two. His I told retirement my plan was a shotgun, wasn't it? Yeah. Isn't that <laughs> my friend he said that he years ago, did, right? Right? like six years ago. You I made a saying? goddamn agreement with my friends that they better honor. I told them if I die at forty-two, I have to be buried, and my tombstone says Jeremy Dooley. And then he the ears and everything, and it says, he called it. <laughs> yes. That's it. That's what it says. Three words. He called it. 42. But it can't be suicide. Right. It's no. like, I called yeah. it. That's cheating the no, system. No, that's cheating. Yeah. That's yeah. cheating. It can't be Absolutely. suicide. It can't be murder, because I don't know if they're doing something with it. Uh, if I'd so fucking... it's cheating for them if they murder you. Exactly. Yeah. What if it's more of like a smite situation, like a meteor takes you out? That's oh, that okay. deal. Okay. Deal. He oh, called it. Yeah. Yeah, that's 42. even better, honestly. If you're like, what's that? Ooh. Forty-two. Yeah, yeah. Wow. that's not what a I'm lot going of time on. left. I think we have someone to murder right yeah, now. Yeah, so uh, should we, should we yeah. bash this fucking table Let's in? Let's do it. I'm not gonna take this one because that would be a little too much. We got uh, uh, a couple minutes here to go to town on this. So and I then think, I'm gonna let's nail fucking, that let's, down and take it. Let's, 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 let's fail to destroy this table. Mark is gonna unhook this thing. Listen, Jack, I don't know anything. All I know is there's 457 million people involved in the procedure. Um, and thing. all of them it's have been lot. waiting for us to do this since we started. Yeah, hey, listen, that's fine. God forbid you ever say you're gonna do anything in advance ever yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need that too. I need to absorb a little more alcohol in the system. Right. Yeah, well you need to you need to absolutely eat more and then you can we drink this more. one. That's how it works. The more what? I got also now we all stood up, we're standing here. I don't know what, what the fuck is happening. Yeah, I think Mark is I got nothing. Well, they said they were going to disconnect the, ta the top of the table, the wooden part. Well, there's, there's, well, there's a fair amount of metal involved. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 I can get started. Well, not it looks like you just uh, take a screwdriver. Uh, we're going to take this whole thing out? Okay, we're going to take the whole table outside. Well, I mean, so. I mean, I'm not carrying it. Fredo and Jeremy, you want to grab that end of this thing? Yeah, just carry it. All right, I'll get it over here. 
I got a watch here, so okay. okay. All, right. All right, looking good. We're now carrying the table. We nothing. Uh, we out. Nothing. No, it's fine. I'm still helping because I'm narrating. Oh, we're making sure. Uh, that. We're carrying we're, it out. They're no, opening no, the bay no, doors. No, this is still an audio-friendly uh, podcast yeah. for sure. A little bit. Hopefully go. they've now switched to that our. That was the bell meaning that the doors are opening. Open. Jeremy, they've now switched to our lavalier okay. microphones. We hope. Which are on our person. No, it is screwdriver. It's uh, no, it is. It's a lovely day to kill a it's tape. Cold. It's cold. Nice and overcast. No, no, it's a good day for so filming cold. outdoors. You gotta crush the end. What do you think? You gotta like crumple well, it up, unwrap it, crumple okay. it up, unwrap it. That's well, I was I actually gonna stick it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna submerge a, a nice. What is Marcus? Marcus has, Marcus has a lot marks. of. What the fuck? Wedges. He's got. Look at these blueprints. Hacked void. Hacked well, that's a void. picture of a table, yeah, Alfredo. I'm just figuring you guys just try to focus your efforts here. In the center. Center yeah. job. Job yeah. off. And then, I don't know, we'll figure all this out. Old people. You know? All right. Like so, I mean, uh, Jack, I feel you should get first dibs. Okay, yeah. well, I think we're gonna put on the, on the saw that's horses, fine. right? I'd say like, that Jack probably already had first dibs. No, dip. but yeah, I mean, like, Jack. Most of that wasn't me, actually. Jack's been fighting to kill this fucking thing forever. Yeah. That yeah. was Jeff. That we was got screws Jeff. coming out. We got screws coming out, oh, boys. Right. Yeah, he, they got it. They got this is all. This was. Uh, it was all set in motion the day this happened. Yeah, it's actually yeah. true. It's yeah. been like really two years. Marcus, really how many this. nightmares has this <laughs> led to? You know, I, this. It was. It was. I was really sad for like a week. And then I, <laughs> I kind of got over it. We all got over it. Trust yeah, me. We all moved then, past and it. And then it was just really funny. Yeah. yeah. It was like the, the table had its own lore. It's true. And it had its own sort of like interest. And, and that, it was also funny because that was the day Jack Video? started fucking it, it, hating right. it for right. no so reason. People, everyone wanted me to fix it. And I was like, you go around that way. Kind of gets rid of like the move fun, this out of the way. The interesting thing that you're here to see. Today. Yeah. It's a it's a damn nice table, Marcus. I've liked it since day one. All right. It's, I'm. Oh, it's a. I've I've yet to fuck it up until this very moment. We'll what the fuck do you want? All right, you're talking to John Rising, well, I imagine. John, yeah. All right, cool. What do we got over here? Ooh, there's some axes. Right. Oh, we have weapons. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Where's our tools? Honestly, over here. We got some tools. Here's, oh, here's, here's, here's what I'm the most upset about. No one yeah. told me to bring a jacket. It's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh I think it's chilly. All right, right Jack. Holy well, yeah, shit. Look at that. That's just, I'm just, the weight of it. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to swing for a bit. Look All right, Jack. Uh, so you want us to like? Jack uh, has a, a large ass oh, really? fucking fire axe. I've only had five like. shots. Yeah, All right, down. All right. Why are you, you putting a hashtag? Scratching That's it. kind of the area he wanted just, us to focus just on. Just fucking right chop it. All right. Oh, oh what is that? Else. Holy Jack. shit! That is a jack Boy, that right, escalated jack. quickly. Is that all right? You're like the jackhammer right, right now. That all right. speaks all you right there. I'm, I'm all about it. I've never used one before, but I'd like to learn. You well, you'll no. push the button. Jack, it's yeah. pretty simple. All right, yeah, here we go. go. Hold, hold on, on. It's, it's a mini one anyway. Hold on for dear life. It's a mini jack. All right, is everyone clear? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. Jack, this thing's going to bounce. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus! That left a good mark right there. Okay. I wonder I'll if I can write back Jack the in fuck it. up. <laughs> I mean, why don't we spell my name out of it? No. Oh, oh that thing is crap. Wow. Look how wow. deep that went. That went like an inch, like maybe half an inch in. <clears throat> this That's is a great. pretty serious axe. Lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Good lord. Yep. See, but that's like. It's not breaking through it. That, no, well, it's cutting. No, this will not break through it. You think that, no, no, that no. would break through if oh, it's oh, split. There we go. Split. 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 That's a chance for you to break it, Jeremy. There you yeah. go. I want to make sure I can snatch in this fucking, fucking thing. I'm going to take a sledgehammer shot. I mean, you go might shatter it. the fucking thing right here with a sledgehammer, gun. dude. That's going to... Oh. <laughs> Got to bounce. By the way, sledgehammers are something I've used extensively uh. in one of my previous jobs. Yeah, uh, you I gotta get. To, I used to hammer railway. Gotta get that in. slide. You used dude. to break knees for the mob. Yeah, I used to set up big. Don't uh, use sledgehammers for that. I used to set up big tents, and you would. Anchor them down with railway spikes, and I used to have to sledgehammer them. Watch, see, he's smart. That's how you know. See how his yeah, right hand's up at the yeah. top? You yeah, gotta get the slide. When he goes, it, he goes over. It's the see? slide and the oh, momentum. There you get some you stuff get like that. that momentum. <laughs> oh, that's the door closing oh, behind shit. us. Oh, you're starting to get a good crack in there. Oh! I think so. I think one more is gonna do it. Piece. Just get that piece, because we still gotta go to town on the rest of it. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's wait, such a nice table! Oh, one more. Scoot it back on. Oh, oh not Jeremy's quite there. You got another there split right in there. All right, there all right, got the piece. Another split the piece. There. Let's, let's take that off. All right. You thirded it. Ryan. That yeah. was actually a crazy clean break. What is that in the middle? 
What? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Yes. Well, this is, the, I assume, Marcus, this was three pieces, right? There's a couple oh. pieces of wood. Oh. Yeah. So that's, it's actually oh, splitting look, along the line. Some treasures. Oh, yeah. yeah. This treasure. <laughs> <laughs> you found cookies. Yeah, look at that. You can see the biscuits on this yeah. side. <laughs> Oh, nice. All right, let's All see. All right, Ryan. Go ahead, Ryan. Ryan, go to town. Uh, Alfredo? You wanna... yeah, I, I need a sure. in the middle. Well, okay, I'm going to try to cross Ryan. Yeah, here. go for Soften it. Soften up, Ryan. It out in there. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, good luck. You're clear. I don't, I don't know if this will do it, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, oh my there you god. Go. Yeah. I'm going to step up a little You're bit going here. real on the right edge there. there. There we go. Oh. Run it away. <laughs> yeah, pull it back, pull it back. There you go. Stop Chunks flying now. <laughs> yeah, we got a little chunk. That's good. It's great. Poor table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah. oh, Ryan. Getting Free dirty. Getting there. You're chopping it. Oh, oh, that's shrapnel. There. That's some shrapnel. <laughs> Careful. There's a souvenir. It's going off. It's going off. There's a souvenir, Jack. Taking this one home. Look at that. That's some pretty wood in there. Yeah, it's some good looking wood, Marcus. <laughs> it was. All uh, right, hang on, hang on. Hoggedy. Can we pull this out a little bit? <clears throat> Yeah, I left that, please. There we go. Give Ryan oh, I got glasses. Oh, it smells good. Oh, we should have oh, yeah. used some of that. that ah, that's some that's good wood. Yeah, that's some good off. wood. Good. Get away with that. <sighs> All right. Oh. I got to take a couple more. Right, give it a couple more, and then I want to go to town. You get in there? Okay. Trying to just get I want to get in there. I want to get in there. I'm... Oh, there you go, nice! There I'm you pretty go, sure I've yet to fuck this table up in any capacity. Well, we've got oh, the we've got the chance. chisel. Michael, you want to? Yeah. Oh, you want to go big? Yeah, you can yeah, take the chisel me, to it. Me, there we go. Let me chisel. Plug it in. Fuck it. I'll do that. Yes. Plug her in. Wow, we've got a lot of safety oh, glasses. Oh, oh, yeah. glasses on. Like, what are they? Oh my God. This someone want to plug up. this in here? this one. I'm gonna let someone else do. No, fuck it. I mean, I'll pick it up. I saw the colors and I was like, what? Like, oh, How are we yeah. doing this, Marcus? <laughs> Do we, we have to put, put that on the ground? ground. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Or How are we doing this? We could put Probably. it. It's also not plugged it, in. I, mean, I know that. <laughs> Through the power of imagination. Yeah. <laughs> Should we move it down to the lower? Well, we should, we should plug it in, yeah, and then you yeah, should yeah. Uh, instruct yeah. me how to use it. I, I went lower lower down? with the sledgehammer and took a third of it off. <laughs> Going from a certain... Oh, it's better geez. for... It's just like coming in from the side. Yeah. So let's go right into it? Yeah, like, like from the... Jackhammer yeah, from the side. From the side? Well, we need to, we need to plug hold it, in. it What? Yeah, we need, we need power. How many people are going to hold it? Get the jackhammer from the side. Okay. Yeah, hold, this, extension cable? hold this table there like jackhammer. That's a chisel. Look at this guy. never was it dangerous enough. All right, Michael, you're hot. All right, so how does this work? It's, oh, trust yeah. me, Michael, it's gonna, it's gonna push back. All right, back. you're plugging in. I don't know. Hold it. Dude, we just both go out. Yeah, right there. Does it just stay on? Yeah. No, I don't oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. No, we can't. It, it, That's dangerous. It'll, it'll, this, this, this is another piece of equipment. I'm gonna, 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 gonna go this way. way. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go that way, okay. I mean, I've used an actual jackhammer before. What happens? It's not this thing. It's, it's a fun uh, experience, Michael. You'll like it. Jack's off. I read it. Yep. I'm sorry, table. You had this coming, son. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. Uh -oh. it's okay. it's okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, in there. Ooh, now it's feeling it. Oh, oh god. Oh, nice. Holy shit. Hang on. Hang on. We got some there firewood go. now. Jeremy, please. Right? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> you all right? You got a splinter? A slur. Did you get a boo boo? You got a. All right, well, uh, Jeremy, no, you got to be careful, man. Man, man down. Get it out of there, Michael. I got <laughs> it. Oh, that's a good nice. crap. It's a little fucked up. I'll can be you, honest. Can you just hit it right in the middle? Is that okay? I mean, sure. As long as yeah. it's all right with Marcus. Marcus. Can we get clear gotta... on that? Yeah. All right. What if we, what if we drop it down to this level so he can get on top of it? Could do that. It'd be easier if you don't like I mean, it's, it's, fit? it's fine for me. It's just the. It's also, if we put it down there, it's like the not The chisel go itself, it's getting stuck. There you go. Oh. All right, my goal. Oh my God, God. that's it, dude. That is not going. I'm gonna go, go for center here. Right here, I'll center. put my shin against this side.
it's in there. She's All deep right. in there. Okay. It's in there. All right, now we have an Hold Excalibur. Up. Can you get that back out or no? Oh, yeah. My ears are bleeding. I mean, I can. Um, <laughs> hey, Alfredo. Oh, yeah. I'm going to strike this. Yeah, yeah. Take a shot at it. Hang on. Can you hold it? I think you might have better luck with the axe. I don't know. We got it. Hang on. There you go. I got it, Nicholas. Please. This is all part of it. Oh, yeah. There it is. She's hanging on. There you go. All right, Alfredo. All right, Alfredo, take a couple right. swings. Am I going take a couple swings, buddy. Oh, watch, 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 watch back. Yeah, please don't bring Have you swung a sledgehammer before? No. All right, so you when it goes up, up slide right down the... to the bottom. So yeah. both hands are on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we should bring it up. We should bring it up. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. You think so? What do you think? You're a professional sledgehammer. Yeah. I mean, I, you could get a good crack on it in that light. But whatever, it's fine. It's a fucking sledgehammer. Any height is going to work. All right. God. Oh, yeah. There you go. go. No. <laughs> this is why they didn't want you to drink, Jeremy. <laughs> don't hey, there don't you go. spill my beer, though. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time. Oh. Slide that one further out again. Yeah. Here. Oh, all right. Never mind. Oh, well. <laughs> Sawhorse cracking, too? Yeah, it is. Oh. A little bit. <laughs> Look at oh, both sides of it. Jeremy. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Yeah, Break off the chip. Chip. Where's the chip? Right there? Right, in the yeah, corner, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Just go ahead and pull that off. Just jack right. Take yeah. it like, in your heart. Oh, Stab yeah. That. Go ahead, Alfredo. Woo! Oh! Alfredo! <laughs> it came back on. at me! All right. Ooh, all right. One last one? Yeah. Yeah. One more. All right, one, one last one. Uh, then I think we might have to take a chainsaw to it. We'll see. There you there go. Goes. All right, you knocked All it right. off. That was yeah, a little uncalled for. Look, look, look at the sawhorse. <laughs> it's yeah. fine. It's fine. Look what we've done. Oh it's yeah, that took some hits. Pressure. All right, well. All right, well. I think if yeah, uh, we could finish this guy off with a chainsaw now. Uh, we've no, discovered that the table is stronger than the sawhorse. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the table's thick as fuck. Look at it. Michael, I think we have a special guest. All right, if we want to come in here, take care of this. <laughs> play, play Griffin, the nice, uh, nice of you to join us. Bring in the pro. Are you going to use two each? Oh. Jeremy, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeremy's threatening to hit him. Well, no, the that's the game hammer. we used to play back in my old Jeremy, for the love of God. <laughs> Look at him. Stop. Stop. This, is, this is the game I used to play. I mean, if you're oh. serious about hit it, Hit myself yes, with I mean. the sledgehammer. Stop. <laughs> yes. Jeez. The game we used to play growing that's what, up. That's what we used this to do. Game. What's you the game? Go down to the railroad. You hit yourself in the face. Hit each other with a sledgehammer. Here, you just go. play with the sledgehammer. Try to right touch your nose. What? Oh. Jesus. What is wrong with you? Oh. What? <laughs> something, something. Oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You're a freak. All right, here we go. Right, train Back on the train yard. Now I'm good. I'll grab one. Thank you. I'll take, I threw one out. I will take one. Like, oh, this brings back memories. <laughs> well, I love this. This yeah. is, uh, I really love this. It's like, a, it's like I'm back in You're fucking like a calendar two, model. 2010. I love it's this. Been a, it's been a good uh, two years. Griffin, go to town. Should have warmed up before I got here. <laughs> 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 just, just say goodbye to the table. Final goodbye. There, there we go. go. So long, buddy. Uh, Good riddance. Oh, Fuck your table. <laughs> Double stack it. There we go. She's not done yet. Hey, Travis, you got that piece too. Let's look at what to put this back together later. 
I mean, someone will. The next part. Yeah, we will. <laughs> someone we won't will. Yeah, that's on our job. <laughs> Our job going well. Our version of that would not God look good. Damn it! <laughs> it would look a little bit like that. Damn! Actually. That, that chainsaw like that. goes through it so fucking yeah. Yeah. easy. Or we're gonna take a wax at it. Like a chainsaw. <laughs> it goes like through it like a chain It's like wood. it was almost designed to damn. do something. Damn! <laughs> All right, we need some clamps. That's the really clamps! Get the clamps out. <laughs> I like the idea of putting it. It's like this is like torture now. Like how can we put it back together to kill it more? Yeah. We're trying to, like trying to decide like, how to make it. I'm here. How to make it pretty. I mean, yeah, yeah, back I, feel like got, I mean, we got the table for the next episode. I mean, look right at that. I there. think so. It's character yeah. now. You might not want to put a uh, beer on it, though. What? On the edge. There's some yeah, good there's spots. So, there's like a so corner. Long, you know. I mean, is that what we're doing the next episode on? We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, well, they got some plan. I'll tell you what we're not doing it on, the table we just had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, I don't think they're done either, so. No. I would now, Marcus it. is getting the explosives now. Yeah. He's getting the bombs. <laughs> He's getting the C4. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so couple, we managed uh, to destroy couple, the saw horses. Couple saw new horses. horses. Graduated to some new saw horses. Some plastic. <laughs> yeah, let's bring out more life support for the table. <laughs> well, it led a good life, Michael. It did. It's, it uh, took on many spills, uh, many stories, a lot of, a lot of anus, anus. Over two anus years, talk. over 100 What's episodes. Up? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we made it. Made it over 100. Howdy. We had that uh, episode one. Episode, episode one. one. Ep episode negative. Or, no, I guess. Well, or, no, we had it on episode one. Yeah. We didn't have it in the, in the test. No, no. Yeah, just have a little one was the first one we had it. And. Uh, oh, it smells so good. She was a beaut. Really? Oh, it yeah. even smells yeah, good. Yeah, it's quality cool. wood. The table, the table had a great life. Had, well, it had a great life until it started getting. Until, I mean, until really it got burned. It. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, it's yeah. life was. Yeah, it was like it was like ten episodes after we started. So yeah, you don't have any fire, dude. Just like, finish yeah, off the fire. I was like, well, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> see you in two years. <laughs> <laughs> this won't come back to haunt me at all. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, well, once I had like embraced it, then it was like funny for me, and then people were like, when are you gonna fix it? And I was like, if I fix it, it takes away all the like fun interest of why yeah, you came, not, of why you came to see the table. Yeah. So, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting this all back together. It's so okay, you're gonna well, use. I mean, we're not gonna have any time. Marcus, yeah. you're gonna use. You're gonna use wood glue. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> some scotch tape. We'll take care of it. Special stuff. Yeah. Some, Elmer's uh, glue um, would do fine. <laughs> right. You gather up the dust. Like a glue. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take everything. No heavy duty scotch tape. So. They got some of that. He's gonna take a jack of heavy bits. Give him back really good tape. He's gotta take them all. That's gotta go back. Do you want this little bit here? I want all of it. You want all of it? I mean, I was kidding. He's keep that. Yeah. That's all good. I don't think he's going to keep all of it. That's like my, you know, my, my ear. I'm going to wear it on a necklace. We had to. Um, like yeah, we do need some clamps, though. With the table. How we should Marcus right now is going, fuck. Yeah. 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 Getting close, though. All right, so they got some support yeah. so they can then destroy it more. <laughs> yes, it's, it's just more, wood more wood murder. Now, right? so they're they're getting is. wood supports to further destroy it. Well, they have some plans. He has some yeah. plans of what he wants to do with Probably. it. So. Oh, well, Listen, Griffin actually, then come all the way out here for a couple of cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Well, First thing stuff, Monday morning. Okay. okay. The thing is, like, you know, you you pay her for the day. Yeah, yeah. We have pretty close. Yeah. He's like, uh. Ooh, throw it out of here. I did not read that email. Jeremy's about to hit himself in the face with a sledgehammer again. No, I got it. That's fine. You can't stop him from doing that. You know what I mean? He has that. Yeah. We have these screws. We can just tag into them just to... Uh, just to make it a little well, easier. Well, you had the screws that were the bottom of the table. Yeah. So what we used to do, people would nail themselves in the face all the time. I bet, Loved I bet, it. I bet you <laughs> did. I bet you definitely did that. Yeah, Let's Trevor, that's, that's how you lost. lost. <laughs> you had to keep yourselves busy yeah. somehow while they were jackhammering <laughs> in the I mean, it's place. already pretty fucked I up. You mixed this up. No, it's not fucked um, up the way he wanted it. I know, that's <laughs> the problem with artists. Fucked up to design. No, I mean, this is fucked up. It's not according to plan. We need a bigger opening here. I was envisioning several more slices here. Let's see if the hashtag's still going. Hey, there's the clamps. Oh, there's a lot of clamps. Look at John Mace. Yeah. The ever careful he man so he is yeah. sitting against a truck with safety glasses on. <laughs> You're double protected. Well, I mean, look at the colors. Yeah. No, I saw them. <sighs> I saw them. I mean. The colors are orange and purple. They opened that box, I saw those two colors, and I was like, I, yep. Yeah. Clearly I need two. Sure. Right now, if you go inside my Mustang over there, 
Uh, the gauges are purple and the lights on the floor are orange. <laughs> Can what? you do that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Now, is Kat disgusted when she drives it? She changes it. Uh, yeah. oh, okay. So the answer is yes. <laughs> she <laughs> changes, I think she, she takes changes time it to, to like, change it. I don't know. When I got it in this morning, it was pink, and I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Dude, All I right, here we go. Pink. I got those hot pink pants in PUBG. <laughs> death right? Here it is. It's back to more death for the table. There we go. Hey All according to plan. Nice big boy in the middle. There we go. Down for a bit, but it sounds like it's back now. It's so good. He goes other way. He's like, ah! Oh! Chainsaw oh. works better than the axe. Way, way better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Is OSHA here? Oh, <laughs> shit! Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh... We should, we should close out around the table. Around what? Around the table. We should yeah. close out around the table. Whatever's left of it. I like how we just scuffed it up. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. all we really did. We did very little yeah. to actually uh, impact <laughs> all right. the we table. Didn't, yeah, we didn't really do too much. We so contributed we'll almost nothing to its final yeah. form. It's, uh... Well. I mean, it's pretty fucked up. It looks, it looks pretty awesome. That's a fucked up table. It does look cool. Where's the logo? Where's the yeah, logo? I'm, 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 I'm okay with the... Uh, Is the logo oh, gone? Yeah, Look at all the gouges. I mean, it's did you have any questions? I thought no, it was going to be this. No, I didn't really... Right? I thought it was going to be on right this. right there. I I, I'm honestly... Yeah. I'm surprised at how I'm okay with this, because I've been trying to keep this table alive oh, for so long <laughs> that at least it got a glorious so, death. I'll be reborn. Got a bunch yeah, of cool it's carvings. It's this. This makes me happier than like yeah, Jack hitting it with a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> while just doing the well, podcast. Well, for I, I softened it up a little. Yeah, he softened it up. That's yeah. Right. You get maybe some gratification of doing it, but this is yeah, pretty this satisfying is too. This is great. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks like, beautiful. Like in, in a dead body kind of way, but <laughs> it feels nice. Oh, I'll try, let me, feel I it. I can try to make the edges a little more irregular. I feel like this part over here is going like. Yeah. It's like okay. No, you'll get yours. Don't worry. Michael, there are a few things. A lot of nice. That make a person as happy. The smell has that smell. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Mm. Dude, in my mind, there's a campfire. What's well, a good source? Oh, that smells good. Wood, too. Mm. You might want to oh. clamp it to the I didn't realize the, the smell of mahogany. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, until now. Is that what this is? It's mahogany. Yeah. Mahogany? Mahogany. 
Don't you, uh, be mahogany. Are you sell any mahogany scented candles or anything like Fuck that? Fuck yeah. Never, well, we can take some of these shavings, like sprinkle it in a fire. Right in there. There you go. You just throw it when you're. Dude, that smells so good. It does. I feel really important it's, holding yeah. it. Take a whiff, take a hit, yeah, pass I mean, it on. We're just, uh, dude, Jack, it smells just, fucking great. Wrapping up here, just whatever. That's quality wood. That is That's good wood. Quality <laughs> fucking wood smell right there. Ryan, you want to take a whiff? I did. I think it's pretty good. This is great. Do you want any more of that anywhere else? I think it's okay. I think we're good. I mean, it looks pretty. Right there. Looks pretty yeah, chopped up. Wait, we got, we got a little chunk down it. there. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. Um, let me open this up a little bit. She's 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 happy, just she's not quite And then quite happy a, and a little bit right here. And just give it a happy. quick chop. Okay. Who is who's is this? They're telling me hurry up. Okay. That's art departments. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep it for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it right. this way. All this, right. This brings me back. I love that. All right. So. Sure. It's not dead enough to Griffin, so she's gonna give a <laughs> couple more finishing blows. A couple more whacks. Oh, I love having this. It's true. One, this brings me back. To Artist. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, so back Dude, I used to work 24 7 with these things. Jerry, please. Marcus, you animal. Oh my god. You absolute animal. Oh my god. Can't stop them from doing that. They're worried about us. Man, I'm just like, uh, cut it. Oh, cut me. Hold it. Hold them back. Hold the medic back. It's out of control. She hit a biscuit. Gorgeous. Wow. Right, so now uh, we leave this with Marcus and uh, magically. <laughs> and, uh, we'll we'll get get a, I like next episode. Not next, not next episode. <laughs> this is episode some dust which we're there. about to film get right that, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff right here. Yeah. Let's burn. That was really nice. So, um, oh, my God. Do we use this for one more or? So we need to shoot another that's episode like, now. Yeah, we're shooting like another an episode. Instant erection. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have some. Well, Whoa. there you have it. It's dead. Yeah, it's this dead. Is, that's uh. This is your turn to be the like. The table's well, gone. See you guys later. Yeah, Shia is like. Shia is over. Of that. Explosions. That. It doesn't get much worse than that. That's uh, gorgeous. Griffin, thank it's you for like joining. Yeah, it. Griffin, thank you very much. Yeah, it looks great. Therapy in the morning. Marcus, yeah. uh, Griffin, was, thank that you. That was all time. Oh, hey, look, hey, there's the. There it is. It took his years to be able to do this. Oh yeah, that was technique. This one's away. Yeah, this one's mine. Look at that. This one is. I'll have to say this one. That's art, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. That. All right, well, uh, tune in next week to see what the hell we're going to do the podcast on. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then the week after that, we'll be Australia. And then the week after that, maybe we'll have a new table, hopefully. Well, thanks we'll for see. watching. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if not, yeah. we got some right. chunks. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Or <laughs> well, we won't, because I can't see you. Don't get it in my beer, please. Oh, goodness. <laughs> More in your beer?